Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. How we doing today? How we doing today? Slim. It's today's first. How you doing? How you doing? I see I see that little um I see that little Undertale emote. Welcoming and Craig, today's second. <clears throat> you can't stay, but hope everyone is well. Have a good stream. Wait. I was like, wait, why are you using a birthday emote? Like, is it is your birthday today? <laughs> but I was like, no, it was your birthday not long ago, wasn't it? But yeah, uh, of course, of course, Craig. I hope you have a good day. And Shady is today's third. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. I hope you have had a good week so far and are ready for the weekend because I know I am. I know I am. Uh, today is going to be the last stream of this week, even though I usually stream on Saturdays, but uh, this week I will not be streaming on Saturday, uh, also known as tomorrow, um, <laughs> because I will be in Serufian stream, aka Sarah. A.K.A. Seraphian. And he's live right now. He's doing a... Um, he is doing a... Uh, well, a five-year anniversary celebration on stream. Uh, of, of his stream. <laughs> on Twitch. Um, so, he's going to be live pretty much all weekend. I, I think he was only going to stream until tomorrow night. Um, but he's considering streaming until a, f a Sunday as well, like in one one go. Like he's gonna, it's gonna it's gonna be a whole a whole event, whole whole stream, and he's gonna have most most of the games are gonna be co-op games. So tomorrow we're gonna be playing Elden Ring, seamless co-op, and also with randomizer as well. So that's gonna be very fun. And so that's that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna stream it because you know. It, it's his, it's his event and his stream and stuff, so I would be feel, feeling kind of weird doing that, but... It's been a while since you managed to catch your, stream, catch your stream. I'm so glad that you're here. How you been? How you been? Yeah, we're just doing some LD wrong. Um, in this, this, this stream. Well, I mean, we did play uh, In Stars and Time as well, though, earlier this week. On Wednesday. It's supposed to be my Tuesday stream, but no, my Tuesday uh, game on stream. But I've been having to cancel a lot of Tuesday streams. <laughs> so, like, I feel bad. As I, I need to play it a different day. So, uh, we're going to play it on Wednesday instead. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for the follow. We do have anonymous follows, get, by the way. If you just want to lurk in peace and, and chill and, and, and just, you know, do your own thing. But yeah, also, let me just do the, the command. We have a command. Also, let me do the, the other command. Uh, the, the... I have a, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say bullshit command, but it's, it's backseating command. Um, that, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not worried about spoilers for Elden Ring, except for when it comes to DLC, because I've not done the DLC yet. Knuckle, I thought what, you were following? Actually, honestly, I thought you were... <laughs> but welcome in, Maddie. A fellow Scandinavian. How you doing, though? Hope you're having a good day. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So. So. Um. Yeah. I. I know Maddie through through Dadman, Chris. And speaking of of Dadman, he was the one who he gifted me the Elden Ring DLC. So we have that now. We have that, so we can we can play that when we get to to that point in the game. We're ready. We are ready. Um, we just had a nap. You know, that's that's a pretty nice way to start a uh, Friday evening. Honestly, I I I wouldn't mind that either. Um, uh, well, I didn't work today, so I, I slept for a while, but. But you got so confused when Rod said we're streaming and you weren't on your. I wasn't on your follow list, so I had to go over here and follow. Oh, 
Wait, how does Rods know when I'm streaming? Because he usually doesn't know when I stream. <laughs> But he, he barely knows whenever he's streaming too. Like he he he's not very good with with time, um, so that's why I'm surprised that he knew. <laughs> oh, he looked. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, hey, plain sleigh. How you doing? A little foxtail on the mic. Yeah, yeah. This is full. This is full. Orion, Orion. You'll finish your Stardew Valley first. You're in the Skull Caverns. <gasps> Ooh, exciting. Do it. Do it. Also, speaking of, of um, well, not foxes, but plushies, at least, uh, I posted it on my, because I usually post a selfie whenever I go live on, on social media. Uh, it's just, it's just a thing I do. And I have a new plushie that I have named after a certain NPC in Elden Ring. I've named it after a certain NPC in Elden Ring. I'm gonna let you guess what I've called it the, when you see it. Because it's like, it's it's not completely accurate, but at the same time, I just thought it would be cute. Look at it! Look at it! It's supposed to be a lizard, but so it's not it's not a snake, but it's just, it's the closest I can get to it. And I, I just, the color and everything is perfect. I was like... Yeah! That name named named uh, named this one Raya because you know it reminds me of Raya. <laughs> so we have our own little Raya, and we are in the in the um, uh, volcano manor area of the game as well because we're looking for uh, we're looking for. Holy crap! Why is Nikki giving me a shout out? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're we're going to to uh, to find. Uh, Alexander taking a, a hot bubble bath today. Well, I mean, it's not just that, but that's that's where we left off last time and we're looking for him. Um, but you love it? I'm glad, I'm glad. You play a lot of Only Human, only just found out there's foxes in the game. <gasps> there are foxes in the game? So you can't have it as a pet? That's the crappy game. Well, it is a free-to-play game, though, but... <laughs> Oh, that would be fun, though. Oh, actually... Uh, that reminds me, I'm playing... Like, I use this... I wouldn't call it a game, but it's like a... a productivity... Game-ish for... Uh, on Steam, called... Uh, Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions or something. And... I follow them on Twitter as well, and they asked for like suggestions on what they could add, and I was like, ah, we we want we we should have a, a fox spirit and a fox plushie in the game, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but yeah, is, isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? I've been I, I've been sitting here binging Jujutsu Kaisen and just hugging this plushie in my chair for the past two days. <laughs> Two or three days. But hey, ghost! How you doing? I'm live. I am live. I am live. Yeah, I'm usually usually live at nine on on uh, on uh, da, 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 Fridays. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, my my stream schedule. I, I think Orion already did it, but uh, oh no. I did, I did, well, I did, now. <laughs> yeah, so this is my schedule. This is my schedule, for those of you who don't know. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any plans this weekend? Do you have any, any, any plans? I'm not gonna be doing much other than just be social with, with people. Well, social online. Online so. Yeah, not IRL social because you know that, that that that's that's a bit extreme. Okay, <laughs> that's a little bit extreme. Uh. <laughs> Your plan is no plans. You work both days. Both days. Why? What do you? What do you? What, what kind of job do you have? That sucks. Do you usually work on weekends? Are you going on a hike tomorrow? Ooh, is it a is it a long hike or is it more like a chill, cozy, cozy hike? Uh, actually, I don't know. Does cozy hikes exist? I mean, maybe, probably. I just feel like most people who go on hikes go like very 
like all in and it's very uh very high energy long walks where it's all sweat and and grossness no <laughs> just kidding <laughs> you sell shoes and work every other weekend oh i see i see i see mm. a snow beaver you bought 105 cans of red bull wait what why 105 why <laughs> why so many <laughs> well that's that's uh hopefully that will last you a while though been off work all week so you can't complain okay well i mean that, that's that's not a bad bad, bad trade-off not a bad trade-off i guess yeah i'm gonna i'm just gonna be in in sarah stream tomorrow and play some games and then i've if if uh, Chris and Lauren don't have any other plans, we have also talked about playing some some Monster Hunter off stream though. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he would decide to stream it. I don't know. Um, if they can, because I've been itching to to play some more Monster Hunter again because it's been so long since the last time I played it, and I've been kind of missing it. I think the last time I played it was in like twenty nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been like five, five years or something. But it's so it's so fun. But it's only fun if you play with other people. Um, they were fifty percent off, so you're storing them. Oh, I mean that's that's smart. If you're already drinking drinking it, then yeah, totally. That is very smart. Wait, no, fine. Hello. I thought you were you were gone. Didn't you go I thought you were leaving. Thank you so much for the seven months. Wait, hold on. I need to that reminds me. I need to do something that I forgot to do before stream. And and that is I have not reset the counter for the <laughs> because we have the wheel spin. Oh damn. Yeah, I knew I was stressing a little bit before before stream. And now uh, I I know why because I was like I I I'm, I'm gonna forget something and I did. I certainly did. So it's gonna it's gonna be reset to zero now. But we're just gonna we're just gonna if it gets to four subs we're just gonna spin the wheel because it's. Uh, let's see let's see let's see bits 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 where uh, where is it there it is. Oh, that one is reset. Let me let me have it up on the on the stream. There we go. There we go. So yeah, it it is at zero now. But just think of it as one on the subs, and then we we can we can we can just pretend. <laughs> Wait. Also, I forgot to turn back the music on. Turn the music back on. But thank you so much. Now, fine. Happy seven months. You are too kind. You're too kind. You were gone, but weren't gone for as long as you thought. Mm. I see, I see. Well, I do appreciate it. And hi again, because I I saw I saw not fine in, in Sarah's stream earlier. So well, we well, said ho hello today already. It's the only chance you get to catch up on the favorites. Oh, I'm part of the favorites. Stop it. I, I was going to do the, 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 the thing, but I was like, no, my mic is there. <laughs> Sir Rufian, how you doing? How are you doing? Well, I mean, I know you're streaming. Are you eating? Are you on a break right now? Because you needed food. You needed food. Yeah, go follow Sir Rufian. He's doing a stream. He's doing doing a very long stream. It's gonna be at least twenty four hours, I think. No, it was gonna be longer than that because you're gonna be streaming tomorrow night as well. And he's already been streaming for maybe nine hours or something. I don't know. Something like that. Food break. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Enjoy the foods. Enjoy the foods. And yeah, Sarah also just started a, a new playthrough with uh, as a dark urge with only Karlak in, <laughs> in his party. <laughs> but yeah, look at my look at my plushie. How do you like my plushie, Orion? How do you like my my Raya? Because this is this is my Raya. <laughs> It sounded like I was saying Mariah in a different in a different way. <laughs> I 
I'm hearing a lot of sounds today. Oh, it's just two stuff she's playing. Um, it's cute. It's cute. Yeah, it's it's. But it's like it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a lizard. But I, this is the old, this is the closest thing that I've come to snake of of like uh, squishmallows. And the color was so perfect. So I was like, you know, this is gonna be Ryan. <laughs> And it has a little slit uh, for the nose. Do you see that? It's so cute. <laughs> uh, it's so cute. Yeah, I, I just... I have a Squishmallow in almost every single room that I spend time in now. I have one... No, I have two here because I have... I have this one as well. <laughs> I have this one as well. I'm starting to get quite a few of these now. And then I have like f three in my bed and one in in my guest room on my guest bed that I tend to take naps on. So it's like I make sure that I have <laughs> squishmallows everywhere. <laughs> Just so I can have something to stroke and, and, and squish, you know? The color is very yes for Raya. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's so cute. It's so cute. But yeah, so today we are gonna continue in Volcano Manor and we are gonna... Um, well, not exactly Volcano Manor, but outside of Volcano Manor. And we're gonna, we're gonna find... Uh, we're gonna find Alexander. And next month I will get my Alexander plushie too! Speaking of plushies. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna find him. He's taking a nice little bath to, to uh, you know, do some self-care, and which is important, you know? Alexander, our self-care king. <laughs> and uh, and then we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna find, uh, well, we're gonna go to the mountaintop of, of giants. I don't think there is anything in between that that we need to do, or should do. See you later. Thank you so much for stopping by, Sarah. Yeah, see you later. Uh, if you don't know me, well, here I am. <laughs> Wait, was that me uh, introducing myself after a raid or something? Because that sounds like something that I would say after a raid. <laughs> it was? Okay. I don't remember saying that, but it just sounds like something that I would say. <laughs> can do sell and stuff, but don't think that's time sensitive. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it is time sensitive either, because I, I did that after beating the game, I think. I'm not- well... Oh, maybe uh, not? Uh, <gasps> Marty! <laughs> Hello again! Hello again, Marty! How you doing? Yeah, I saw Marty as well in, in Sarah's stream earlier. Um, see, uh, Orion remembers what I say and do, but I don't remember anything. I'm the same way, though. Like, I remember what everyone else does and says, but I don't remember half of what I do or say. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. Four more subs? Yes. Yes, we have four more subs, plus four more subs for the wheel spin as well. Uh, it just doesn't say, but I I needed to reset it because it said uh, a different number than uh, it was supposed to. Because I've forgotten to, to reset it after last stream, which was um, in Stars in Time, and that doesn't really count. So, just pretend that it says four uh, of five subs here. No, one of five, I mean. <laughs> Just, just pretend. Just pretend. So yeah, in in four more subs. Well, it's it's uh, sub uh, new sub points there, but this for the wheel spin it counts like every single type of sub. So if it's a resub, a uh, Twitch uh, no Prime sub or gifted sub or whatever, any type of sub, will count for the wheel spin. But for some reason, the stupid sub counter for Twitch only counts new subs, so it doesn't count resubs. Which is really annoying. It is annoying, but... 
It's just I like this sub counter because it will stay up uh, on my stream. No, my yeah, my 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 Twitch page, even when I'm not live. So you can see this bar if you scroll down, and you can see it on my page at all times, even when I'm not live. So it's like it's very handy. It's very useful. So that's why I like having it. Um, Orion is my personal note keeper. It's true. <laughs> it's not. It's not even a joke. <laughs> Going to do the full grown falling star beast fight? Probably not. I don't I don't there's not really any point in doing that at this point. Because we have already gotten to the manor and not that way. I know that I'm pretty close to it though. Uh but yeah, I, I don't really see any point in doing that. It's also not a fun fight. <laughs> For the content. Yeah, but it's... I don't know if it's fun content either. <laughs> I do remember doing that on my first playthrough. And I was apparently very under-leveled. So I was struggling a bit. I had to come back and do it again later. With a brand new wheel spin weapon? Oh. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe. Was that why you asked? Uh, did you did you want me to go through pain? No. <laughs> Let us open the game, though. We can open the game. Uh... Hold on. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Ah. Okay. Opening LD wrong. LD wrong. Also, Twitch SMS code is dumb. Oh, oh, do you mean the, the verification? I mean, most stream- a lot of streamers do it to, like, as a safety measure. So it's not- it's not- well, unless you- is it for logging in? I thought you meant for chat, because a lot of streamers can also choose to have, um, only verified users in their chats. Um... Yeah, hi, Ghost. Did, did I even say hi to you earlier? Because I don't know if I did or if I just... <laughs> I I forget sometimes, you know? But hi! <laughs> Game, I opened... I put you on the other screen. There we go. Hmm... Let me change the game scene. No, the, the, no. What? Why did you change back? Hold on. I, I switched the monitor like three times. Uh, game capture. I'll be wrong. And pause the music. How's the music? Um... The MFA is a real thing, though. Accounts are getting compromised left and right these days. Also, verifying the human aspect is good. True. That is true. Uh, with all the different bots appearing in chats these days, I'm also considering doing that. But at the same time, it's like, Seribot is so quick with it just banning them right away. That I don't know how necessary it is. Seribot does a good job. The sorcerer's cannoneer Alexander that you get this wait, hold on. Rider D welcome in Happy three months. Oh, I forgot to change the, the thing here too. Or show Wait, was that correct? No, it was not. But thank you so much for the three months sub and three months streak. Thank you so much and happy three months. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing. Where is the the? S 
What even is this? Oh, it's the alerts. Hold on. I just need to do this, but I also need to hide the, the Twitch one, but I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> there it is. Uh, but see, now we have two subs on. No, well, I mean, it's. Wait, what? Where is the, the, the. What? Oh, there we go. I guess I needed to move it. <laughs> That's a while to be streaking. Surprised you didn't get cold. What do you mean? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, I just, I just realized what you meant the second after I said, "What do you mean?" And like, the, oh, never mind. <laughs> what? Hey, Krauses, A.K. Chris. How you doing, Chris? Dando man. How are you doing? Yeah, I, <laughs> I said what, but I at least I didn't say it in a British way. No, actually, it's one of my favorite things when when British people say what. What? What? It's funny. It's funny. Three more subs for Wheel Spin and Ronnie cosplay. Yes, yes indeed. Yes indeed. It is true. It is true. No streaking, put your bombs away. <laughs> Actually, I I don't know if I even know what that means. <laughs> I just assumed that it was something with your pants down <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I assumed that even, but you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? <laughs> Different kind of streaking. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just confused overall. I don't, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> Did you see my plushie? I have my own Raya now. I, I just decided to name her Raya. With the little nose slits and everything. Oop. But yeah, hold on. Um, so I kind of forgot the way to get to that place. <laughs> Honestly, all the layers in, in this area is kind of confusing to me. We came from that side earlier. Um, to Alexander, yeah. Oh yeah, and we had um, we got a wheel spin last time we played this game, and we got the brick hammer. <laughs> that was it was painful. Wait, it was it was painful, but but we 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 tried, we tried. She's cute. Yeah, she is cute. Um, you have an event thing in Heyday, like four minutes, and it's only a few minutes. So you try your hardest to focus, not to miss that. Yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Um, so you run to the meat shop quick to so dropping a lurk. Of course, of course, of course. Now also thank you so much for the lurk. Um, double bonk. Yeah, I love the. <laughs> yeah, we we it is it is a double brick hammer, double bricked up as what we were last time. Apparently, I said what I said. <laughs> when was this? Uh, this was on Saturday. On Saturday. Um, you don't think you went there yet? No, I know, I know. I know I haven't gone there yet. That's why I'm saying that I don't remember the way to get to it. Because I haven't been there this stream. Or this stream, this playthrough. So I don't remember the way. <laughs> Brick it, I'll see ya. Uh, I think you have to go around. Mm. Probably when you went to bed, yeah. Probably. It could have been. Um, 
So I have to go down and like this down near the water here. Okay, abandoned coffin. Wait, abandoned coffin? I need to I need to see that because I don't remember what that is. <laughs> um a double bricked up, yeah. It, it, hey, it happens. <laughs> oh, wait, this is this is considered an abandoned coffin? Okay. From the top side, um so to left from where I am. Wait, so j just tell me which grace are the ones that I have would be the easiest to go from. The carriages are coffins. Hmm. I did not know that. Urchery grazing hill, go up the pa hill past where you fight skelly boys, then along Seathwater River. Okay. Hey, Zaychin. Zaychin, how you doing? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. Hmm. Up the hill past the where you fight the skelly boys? Oh yeah yeah up here. Yeah, this is what what I This was the water that I meant that I was looking for. I was like, isn't that But it's not this water, is it? <laughs> That, that's a, maybe a little bit too big. Yeah, so we have been here. Uh, that's the way. That is the way. That is what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I remember the rest. I just, it is kind of confusing to me. <laughs> this, uh, like, remembering all the all the different levels and everything. Which is why I don't really like exploring Lyurnia because there's so many levels that you don't even think about sometimes. Food is there, what are you having? What is the food? Oh. Is this the one that grows inside? No, 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 go. Don't, don't do that. No, it, it just looked very big. Uh, the map is huge and full of nooks. It's tough to remember it all. Mm. Yeah, but it's like when you see Lyurnia, for example, like this area here, this is super confusing. All the different levels here. I think there are like three different levels just here. And it's so <laughs> easy to get to get confused here. Um But it kinda adds to it though. Oh fuck. I, I thought I waited until it was over. Well, I guess I didn't. <laughs> uh you like to go over places again because even though feeling going everywhere is it's so easy to miss stuff because you get in get it in that way not to go all over again mm. yeah like that was when I played it for the first time and when you get to uh, Kaled like that was how I got to Kaled the first time and this time you know when you get to the um, the arena with the big pot when you get up that uh, elevator. So cool. Because I had gotten to Caleb before then. I was wondering how to get down there. And I tried to find a way to get down to that area before finding that elevator. And when I found it, I was like, Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> that, and, that is really confusing. Tried for hours to find a way up to that plateau in your first playthrough. 
it, it's it's really cool though, but it's it's confusing when you don't know, and you don't know that you're not supposed to know yet. You know, I said a lot of you know. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Were these the Skelly Boys you meant? Because I yeah I haven't been here yet this playthrough. Also, I, I need- I, I'm just gonna get to a safe place before I can catch up again, because I can't scroll right now. I can't scroll! Mm. Wait. I just felt like something was coming for me, <laughs> because of the music. Um... Even though it can get so confusing at times, and to to many places there are many different ways as well. True, true. Uh, you play this game like thir uh, th 35 times and you're still finding items you haven't found before. It's wild. It is pretty wild, but it's, it's so cool though, that you can still discover so many new things, even after playing it for so many... Well, so many different... so many times. I think you missed the Albin Orc village first time under the Moonlight Altar place. You mean where you find, um... Uh... I forgot her name! <laughs> uh... Yeah, but the old Benoric village is on the lowest level. But are you talking about that, or are you talking about the top? Because that is the moonlight altar, right? Nefeli, yeah. I, I meant Nefeli Lu. I was like, sometimes I can only remember her last name for some reason. I don't know why, I just... I don't know why. You wish there was more to that big jar lad? Uh, they could have been the best character instead of Alexander. No one could have been the best ca uh, character instead of Alexander. But I do I do understand that. I was so terrified of going there, I thought that it was a boss fight or something. <laughs> that was the fight with the one Tibia Manners. Those were the Skelly Boys. Bedora got them. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. From earlier, yeah. <laughs> uh, Nefeli and Albus, yeah. And the omen killer with the dog. Yeah, I, I know, but I, I thought when you said the moonlight altar, I was like, but isn't that the top? Ne Neflilu and Albus. <laughs> and you missed the lower level. You were trying to get to the top early, you rode against the walls, but still missed the way to the village. Oh, yeah. I needed to be told, because that was when I was trying to find the medallions to get to Melania. Because I didn't find the Alban Orc village either until I got help from people in chat. Because I wanted to find out where uh, to get to the Hailing Tree. Or like, I wanted to get the second half because I think I got the one from Castle Soul before I got the one in the Alban Orc village. So I needed help for someone to tell me where the other half was because I didn't know anything about Melania. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like I was asking people to tell me where I would get, uh, how I would get to her because I didn't know anything about it, I just knew that I had one half of a medallion and didn't know where the fuck to get the, the second one. <laughs> so I got there pretty... Well, fairly late, at least. I don't remember if you eventually super late found yourself or read about the medallion part. Mm. I think you two shot that Yeah, I think I, I killed him very easily as well. Um... Ow! <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't kill my- 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 my torrent. But I mean, you did fight Melania on your first playthrough, right? So... You must have gotten there. You must have. But it would be so nice to uh, 
experience this game again for the first time. And I feel that's that way about so many different games, though. Just because I love exploration so much. <gasps> Thank you so much for the two bits. I'm going to watch the pot carry while you eat. Nice, nice. How far are you into it, though? Well, I mean, obviously you're gonna you're gonna BRB. Yeah, we got uh, Ghost to start the Apothecary Diaries. That reminds me. Um, <laughs> hold on, I need to. I need to. Da, da, da. I need to look at something real quick. Hmm. Because I forgot to update something in the Discord, which I should have done. Uh, because I have all the, the alerts and stuff in the Discord. But I have I have changed the 100-bit alerts to have like five, four or five different variations. <laughs> so it will be random now. And I forgot to change that. I forgot. I forgot. You're on episode 14. Nice, nice. Oh, I love that show. It was so good. So good. I can't wait to have to watch the second season, which will be out next year. Um, I also have the first four or five volumes of the manga, but I haven't gone around to, to reading it yet. Some selective game. Amnesia would be lovely. Always chasing the same feeling you got when you play the first time. I know it's be so nice and especially when you love exploration in games like that's that's the only reason why i like playing skyrim really well not the only but that was that my main enjoyment of skyrim that was exploration but it's like now it's not fun for me to go back to it because i still remember all the different areas and stuff so it doesn't have the same appeal to me this game is still very beautiful, though, so it's like it still has that appeal when it comes to exploration, I mean. And there's still so much you haven't explored yet, or at least I haven't. Like, there's so many... This game is just so dense when it comes to the, the world itself and how many things you can find and... So it hasn't... it doesn't really get old, you know? You would like to retain your role game knowledge and how you play games, but just play games for the first time? Yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> pretty much that. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot about this one. I think I want to avoid that one. Ryan, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? I just need to not die. <laughs> oh, Ryan, thank you for the eight subs. Holy crap! Wait, I just I just need to get to some someplace safe because I am not safe here. <laughs> Thank you so much! We actually listened to that song on, on in Sarah's stream and I said that was that is the best song to see live because it goes like, it just has so such good vibes. Thank you so much! Thank you so much. I just I can use torrent. I can use torrent. Yeah, I just I just need to get into to some some somewhere someplace, and then we can do the wheel spin. We can do the wheel spin. But that's true. We we actually can do two wheel spins now. That's why you did it. That's why you did it. Oh fuck! I forgot about this. Okay, let me just kill this one first. I forgot how they do their move sets though. So. 
This could be interesting. I haven't really fought them a lot. Wait, why did I heal? I didn't need to heal yet. Ow! Ah, now I do. Ah, what? What? Okay, I I realized that I'm just very. I don't know how to fight these. <laughs> was too far away. I don't have the patience. Okay, now we can... <laughs> now we can do the wheel spin. Okay? Okay. <laughs> now we can do the wheel spin. Thank you so much, Orion. Thank you so much. A maple moon? Hold on, let me see who got the subs. Who got gifted subs? Uh, you not got one. And stay purple. Rifas. Uns Queen Unseen. Maple. Vamp Witcher. Semeti. Sleepy Bunny Moss. <gasps> oh. That's cool. That's cool. Love to see it. Love to see it. Channel the power of Korean voice. Exactly. <laughs> In a Japanese game. But we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Was that enough for the cosplay goal as well? It was. It was. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, we have gotten to 79. So we have reached the goal, which means next week, guys, we're going to do a Ronnie cosplay. And um I want to I want to um, line it up with how well, with Ronnie's quest line. So we can do the cosplay as the same at the same time as we finish her quest line. Wait. I want to do the cosplay when I finish the que uh, her quest. Is what I meant. I don't know what I said, but that's what I meant. <laughs> um, but hey, Bard, hope you're doing well. I am doing well. I am doing well. Hope you're doing well as well. <laughs> um, a fireball. Yeah. Hey, Sparky Kitty Cat. Welcome in. Need a three for a wheel spin? Yeah, but we got eight, so we can do two wheel spins now. So we can do two. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They do big bonk and erupt fire from the head. Mm. Yeah, I... <laughs> I... I saw that. Uh, do you still do the beans? Yes, 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 I do. I do. Thank you for the remi reminder. It's just, it doesn't happen that often that people give, like, five or more subs in, uh, at a time. So I kind of forget about it. So, obviously, feel free to, to remind me. Otherwise, obviously, I try to, to remember. But most of the time, I am very likely to forget. Uh, so we're going to do that as well. Nothing but flaming obstacles stopping you from spinning the wheels. <laughs> I, I know. At least it's not a flaming wheel. Well, I mean, we, we we don't know that. We don't know that. We could have something like that in the wheel spin. Is there a weapon like that in the wheel spin? I think so. Maybe. Time for wedding? Or marrying, at least? Yeah, we're gonna marry ourselves. <laughs> I mean, the Ronnie channel takeover? Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. Please, a good one? Yes, we, we're hoping for a good one. We're hoping for a good one. We have not been very lucky lately. Oh, yes, it's a blue one, so that's easy to find. Berry blue or toothpaste. Okay, that's that's not too bad, even if it is a bad one. Like, it's not good, but it's not the worst. It is not the worst. And he wasn't even toothpaste. Hmm. Pretty okay. Hold on, let me just mute my mic while I chew. Is 
It's just when something is very chewy, you can hear it very well in the mic, and I don't want that. <laughs> but we got a good one, and we're gonna do the wheel spin as well. We're getting an ad starting very soon. Um. So I'm just gonna find the the weapon and everything once we do that. I wonder what monitor will show now. Oh, it, it's showing the right one. Okay, good. Okay, let's see what we get. And I added one more weapon. Was it last time or was it this time? No. What am I saying? Last time or the one before? I, I don't even know what I say today. <laughs> oh, so... Yeah, Orion is my note keeper. It's true. It's true. I don't. I just don't want to put too much pre too much pressure on Orion. <laughs> Always hoping for the worst with the beans. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Uh, denying everyone chewing any smart. Yes, yes. A new weapon. It's <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what we get. A weapon. I'm not a fan of the rapiers. I'm I'm not. So <laughs> hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> uh, let me just reset the um let me Wait, hold on. Um, uh, excuse me? It's not responding. That is not responding. Yeah, let me just reset the, the subs. So you'll be the correct number if anything else happens. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're getting an ad, so I'm just gonna find the weapon and everything during the ad break. Rot rapier, though, they're are your, not your favorite category by any means, though. Mm. I mean, it's better than than um, better than um, Rajiers. Yeah, it was just not very fun. I I don't like the um, the pokey pokey. Uh, okay, we can. Ugh. Ghost wants me to do <laughs> the ASMR thing. <laughs> well, it's not really ASMR. I'm just talking very softly. Let me just uh, do that. It's for two minutes. Okay. Okay. So we can we can find the weapon. The find the find the weapon. Uh, we can just look for Rajir's weapon, and then we can easily find it because <laughs> it's the same. Category. Well, this is the wrong, wrong place. Here it is. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I've never seen this one before. Well, dude, it looks really cool. This is uh, it's cool. This is not whispered shouting. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't do shouting. <laughs> I do shouty outies, but I don't do shouting. Um, spur of a giant ant, which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with scarlet rot. Scarlet rot is an old legend of which Malay Marais 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 of the Shaded Castle was a private believer. Indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Skill, Impaling Thrust. Skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields. Build power, then lunge forward for a long thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Uh, 
yeah, this is this is gonna be interesting, and it looks really cool. It looks cool. Kinda, kinda pretty. I like it. Mar Marai, Marai. I was thinking of like Malay. Or something. Or something. <laughs> it's like, I used to have more uh, normal ASMR where I was whispering for it, but then I switched my mic and it didn't pick up when I whispered, so I had to just switch to, to soft speaking instead. You reckon a build with two of these would slap more rot, more better? It's true, because the Rot Axe, like the Great Axe, has actually been probably one of my favorites um, out of the, the weapons that I've used in, in the wheel spin. Oh, I was I was gonna light this, but I accidentally tried to summon Torrent instead. Yeah, it does not do super soft sounds. It does not. It does not. Um, so I used to have that, but then... Not anymore. Wait, there are no enemies here? Wretched fools. Wait, who's saying that? Is it this one? I think I asked that in my first playthrough as well, but I simply do not remember. <laughs> Who is it that says that? Is it someone hiding here? I think I do remember. Don't don't tell me, by the way. Uh, I actually... I actually think I asked... Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. No, I don't. <laughs> Um, just in case. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's just, it's like what I said last time. It's like, it's not, it's not considered a spoiler. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. I see it. I see it. I, uh, I think I asked this the last time I did this as well. You'll survive? Sure. I mean, it looks like it. <laughs> Who is this, though? Do we know? Do we know who it is? Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, no regrets spending two, 2k at all. How many points do you have, Ghost? I mean, you don't have to tell me. I'm just curious because, I mean, you haven't been following for that long. So I'm like, I hope you're not using up all your points uh, right away. The Rotten Duelist Axe is class as a colossal weapon, too. You like the biggest bonk the best. <laughs> yeah, out of out of all the, the weapon wheel spin weapons, I have really enjoyed that one a lot. It was It was a lot of fun. Don't look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, I'm, I'm trying to, to train my memory because, I mean, I have a fairly good memory, but sometimes I forget details like this. But then it's like, wait. So I just need to, to force myself to try to remember it, but that doesn't mean that I, I mind if people tell me. <laughs> So it's like, oh, wait, no, don't tell me. I just, because I'm trying to test myself. <laughs> That's all. Using the corpse as a stepping stone. Hey. You do what you gotta do. I don't know why I keep doing that, but... Paul? <laughs> wait, Paul? <laughs> yeah, his name is Paul. I would believe it. I believe it. Hey, 
Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a fan of the 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 cannons here. Uh, I I don't know why I call them a cannon, but um, I mean probably because I read cannon. <laughs> like yeah, they're they're a cannon. He's Paul, and they're cannons. Together, they're cannon. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> We're here though. We're here. Well, shit. I should have. No. Oh. Oh yeah, we have the the thing. I didn't level it up though, so this could be interesting. Ah. Where? Slut. I got Norwegian now. <laughs> you forced me to go Norwegian. <laughs> oh! Already. <laughs> you forced me to go all Norwegian. That doesn't happen often. I should have been focusing on the head instead. No, I'm trying to I'm trying to get more FP. Okay, now we can't really Aim at the head. Ow. What? I rolled that time. Okay, I don't like it when they go up on the on the hind legs because I can't see all the lava then. That's the annoying thing. It would have been fine though. Yeah, I prefer when they're on all four. <laughs> I realized what I was about to say as soon as I said it. <laughs> um He is Paul and they are cannons, together they are cannon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Is it typed slut or is it's it's with two T's, yeah. <laughs> You're making that as a code as well. <laughs> Ow.
Yeah, come here. I don't want to be in the lava. Oh, that was soon. Can you come over here? I just don't want to be that close at all. <laughs> it really does like the rock, though. Oh shit, I should also get my runes. I didn't think about that. I forgot. I literally never tried this weapon before, so get, be, be patient with me. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, it is an easy fight, but it's it makes it a little bit more difficult when... It's a weapon you haven't used before, and it's also not leveled up. Also, I get too greedy, so I forget to roll in time. Nice. Three times already, and we haven't gone to 50%. That's pretty nice. I didn't mean to go into the lava again. Oh. Oh shit, that did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. What? I can't see. Maybe I shouldn't be locked on. Maybe that's the issue. But then there are a lot of other things that I won't see. Like that, for example. <laughs> Hope you didn't 
might make typos. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you didn't. I'm sure you didn't. Dislike this ground so much in this fight, it sometimes screws you over. It's so uneven. Yeah, it's it's a little bit rough. Um, it is a little bit rough. Yeah, um, so locking off was not the way to go. God damn it. It's like every time I think that maybe I shouldn't use the lock on, and then I try to lock off, and then... Nope, never mind. Nothing is ideal here. <laughs> it's what is usually my conclusion. This is fairly easy to get it to 50%, though. It's just when it gets up on all... on its hind legs that it's trickier. It would probably not be an issue at all if I... If I leveled up the, the weapon, though, but now I'm kind of stubborn and want to do it without leveling it up. Jesus Christ, I rolled. Now I rolled way too soon. <laughs> Stop doing that? It's not fun for anyone. Well, maybe you, but... Who cares what you find fun? What? How could you miss? No! I also don't like how different the movesets are. Oh, again? Nice. Well, that's not so nice. Worth it. way too soon.
Uhr, Uhr, Uhr. Hier. God damn it. Yeah, that was that was me being very stupid. <laughs> that was me very, being very stupid. Uh, yeah, I use I use a lot of health potions here because I'm not used to fighting these for so long that I have to learn the movesets. I have to be completely honest here. Because I usually don't fight them under leveled, and that's kind of what it feels like now. Dude, I'm just trying to get my gri uh, my my runes. Dude, leave me alone. I'm gonna die again now. Actually, dying now would not be such a bad idea because I have to use two heals to do that. I really don't like when he does that. Can you stop? No, please. I really hate dealing with this lava. It's not a good time. No, not the head. I 
I rolled again. Okay, that time I didn't. I wasn't aware of how many delayed attacks this one had. No, not during that attack, because now I can't get the... I'm gonna do it anyway. They're all way too soon. We did it! I didn't think it- did I do a lot of bleed damage on that last hit? <laughs> uh, that was so rough, honestly. That was- <laughs> uh, That was really rough. Thank you for the GG's. I'm- I'm happy that I- <gasps> It's my friend! And just in time for the timer to run out. But wasn't that... Isn't there five minutes more after that? Was that 20 minutes? Belief in the leaf. Yeah. <laughs> just... Uh, I'm, it, it wasn't easy. I didn't do it right away. Poor Torrent, though. <gasps> Alexander, he's taking a hot bath. You know? Doing some self-care. Oh, I have to be off to Hort. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I think that was ten minutes. Mm. Good lady, what business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. Of course. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a T. <gasps> I got the jar! Also, my hand is shaking right now. I felt that when I picked up the glass. It's like, why is my hand shaking so much? <laughs> I guess I was just very tense. You didn't know the first time you could talk with him here on the platform? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Torrance, who's actually melting on the way to chat to Alexander. I was like, but usually Torrent can even go on, on like poisoned swamps and stuff. So I was like, and he didn't take a lot of damage. He's having the <laughs> <No curse> <laughs> He almost died for Alexander here first time. Would have been worth it unless you missed dialogue. Oh, yeah, that's true. That is true. That was 20 minutes? Really? 
Damn, was I at it that for that long? Damn. Yeah, that that's that's a long time. Some new drip in your jar, Sinol. <laughs> I like that. It's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Wouldn't you say that this, like, magma is probably hotter than, than, than that, though? But, but at least he takes some damage. Um, when in lava, you don't think he can get poisoned or rotted? Yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, I mean, I know, but he didn't take a lot of damage. Like, I would have taken more damage if I had done this than if Torrent walked here. You don't think it was that long, though? It felt so fast. Well, if it was 10 times 2, then it must have been, because you started the timer as soon as I, I started the boss fight. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty cloud. So you don't have anything to say other, other than that, but you're my friend. You're my friend. But at least in Ulring, you don't have to sacrifice one of your only two ring slots to be able to walk in lava for one... in one lava area. <laughs> Damn. I guess that's true. Yeah, you see how little damage he takes? Like, it's very little. Wait, what even is on this side? Do I know? No. Oh. Um, it also takes so little damage from the lava as the player as well, but it does quickly add up. Hmm. Oh wait, is this to the the cave that has the jar cannon? No, no, it's not. No, I, I like I. Well, is it? Oh no no no! This is the bear. <gasps> no, this is the. Isn't this the way I'm supposed to go? <laughs> yeah, there's a bear coming here, isn't there? Yeah, I knew it. So I do remember some things. You could just go while you're here now. Wait. Yeah, I just like this is where I thought that the other way went. I didn't think that it was I was going the right way. Like the correct way. <laughs> mm. Yeah, go this area. Yes, yeah, the the jar cannon is this way. Uh I just Holy crossbow. At least I think it is. Oh, we're gonna do another wheel spin, by the way. Oh fuck, never mind. Um Enemies. Why are these so fast? Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, shit, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> switch the uh, the tab. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Okay. 
I'm not sure if I know which one th th this is. Troll's Golden Sword. Troll's Golden Sword. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. I guess it was also really close to where I was. <laughs> uh, I didn't have to go very far. I didn't have to look very far to find it. Wait, wait, we have we've had 17 already. That's insane. Has it really been that many? That's like more than one per stream. I'm sorry. I'm just practicing. Hey, maniac, how you doing? Uh Okay, let me see. Mm. How much I I just need to see how my um I have 32 strength and 45 at dex. So it wouldn't be a good idea to to double hand it then. Uh, there was a couple of streams. There was no spins, but average when their spins is about two. Mm. No, I I know there has been a few streams without, but. Still, I'm I'm surprised. Oh fuck! Well, they can fight amongst each other and uh, leave me be. Or not. I'm just aggroing a bunch of stuff now. <laughs> Did you see how? F I don't have any stamina. Stop it! Stop it! What the fuck? I forgot about the beast, assholes. Okay, that's stressful. Also, wait, this is also where we got the Who Water Jesus quote from Orion. <laughs> this is where I was in the game when Orion said that. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, did you remember that it was heroine? Because I, I, I certainly do. Stop killing me, okay? I'm just trying to mind my own business. Also, did, did we start the timer? I don't know if we did. Because I, I was just gonna practice first, but then... You did the time, okay, okay. Uh, now you do remember the word is baptized. I don't remember the spelling though. Yeah, <laughs> that's why it was funny because it's like <laughs> it's just a funny way to say baptize. <laughs> we can ignore that if you wanted to get a feel for it. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm okay with that because we, this ended up being more. More than what I intended when I wanted to practice, so... I guess it worked out. Yeah, this boss is uh, a pain in the ass when you're... Uh, not super OP. Because of the... Um, mostly because of everyone else around the boss. Not so much the boss itself. Well, kind of the boss itself, too, though. But anyone who does magic... Stop it! Yeah. That's, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I'm gonna lose all of my my runes here, and I could have probably leveled up with it as well. It's fine though. It is not a fun time. And then you have all the other enemies here as well that you have to fight again, unless you want them to become a problem too. Yeah, who watered Jesus? Stop with the stupid fire! This is why I try to level up my, my stamina now, most of the time. Because I feel like I use up my stamina really quickly. <laughs> Stop it! Kind of cute sounds, though. <laughs> uh, guess you have to own it. Mm. Do it. There's too, uh, so many cool weapons you want to do runs with. It's too many. 
Hmm. Yeah, stamina is really nice because, especially when you use these heavy ones, heavy weapons. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Happy Friday indeed. How are you doing today? Do you have any plans? I guess I just have to make sure that I don't die. <laughs> Uh, is there- I'm just like- I'm trying to think of a way that I can lure some of these sorcerers away. But I mean, there was already one here that attacked me before. Oh. That wasn't a part of uh, any of the boss people. Uh, you're not gotten tired yet of telling how you level lots of stamina early just so you could panic roll more for the first run. I do remember you saying that. <laughs> but it's understandable, though. I'm quite weakened with a cold. Oh, no. Not a cold. But okay there, new Fortnite chapter. Hmm. Yeah, just in and just hope you, you chill and relaxing, taking care of yourself. Hydrating. That is also important. Oh, so you're not moving any farther uh, this way. That's good to know. I'm just hoping that I can... Was close. Yeah, I'm trying to just kill one at a time <laughs> if I can. At least they're synced. Oh, not the book. I hate how they can just spam the spells. It actually fucking sucks. You see this? It's insane. And their range is just endless, too. This one is almost dead, though. So once that one is dead, we can... We can deal with it. think you can move that far. I 
Okay, so she doesn't get stag staggered by that. Oh, so you can kill them for me. Okay, I didn't know that was possible. Oh, it's because I'm a lot of FP. That's why it didn't work. What? You missed? I haven't done any damage. Okay, so that attack doesn't do anything. Yeah, this is a horrible weapon to use here. <laughs> Simply because it's too... It has too long of a wind-up. staggered for long I know what you're trying to do what that's not fair you can't just be on top of a rock to avoid taking damage. I mean, this could work if I also did ranged attacks, but I don't. See, I can't hit her. Like, every time I try to do an attack, it's like she does one immediately after when- when I can't dodge. It's like the game knows. Wait, where the- how the fuck do I get up here? Because I don't want my- my runes to be stuck down there if I die. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want my runes to be stuck down here. It's not an issue as long as you're close to her. Um, but at the same time, did you did you notice how every time I stopped and she didn't do any attacks, it was like she was waiting for you to do one? So that when you're in the middle of the animation of the attack, you can't dodge when she does hers. And that's a shitty mechanic. <laughs> Like, that's not fair at all. Because I stood quiet and wait waited for her to do her attacks every time. Ow. 
Ow. Stop it! Stop it! I'm just gonna get my runes, and then I'm actually not gonna do this boss fight because it's a pain in the butt. If it was just a boss, it would be fine. But because of the other enemies too? I just don't want to bother with it. Not with this weapon. It would be fine if I used my, my regular ones, but... You can run Alter and Pass it for the Grace. But I thought if they got too close to the Grace that it didn't... That it would be... Well, that you couldn't use it. But I mean, yeah, we can do that. I wonder, will I be knocked off of Torrents during this fight? No. Okay, there we go. Ugh, nice. Yeah, because I did not want to lose all these runes. <laughs> oh yeah, I stopped at 40 on endurance because I wanted to level up more strength and mind, but... I kind of want more endurance now. No more random weapons? Oh, we're not done. Oh yeah, this one isn't one that attacks you. Or doesn't it? Eventually? No. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. No, we have plenty of random weapons. <laughs> also, we're getting an ad starting any any second now. Uh. I don't think I'm gonna go there because that was a pain in the butt. That's one of the ones for Selen's quest you need to find. Oh. And I got there too early then, because I have never gotten the, the message, no, the message, I, um, <laughs> the quest. Well, I mean, I have ne not gotten the, what is it that I'm trying to say here now? I have not, did the game just freeze? Oh, it unfroze again. What I was trying to say was I have not done things in the right order, so I haven't like gotten the, the quest to go find the things. I've already had them, I think. Um... I don't remember if you did get the key for the other one already. I haven't gone any... I haven't really gone to her and progressed anything in her quest. I did go to the cave, but I didn't do the quests because I couldn't get the seal. Well, I mean, I hadn't progressed in the quest enough for that. So yeah, you're right. Red Bull ad, you're not gonna buy any of those in a while. 
<laughs> you thought when those enemies are mourning the fallen, but they're actually eating the corpses? Red Bull gives you wings. It's true. That's true. Wow. Yeah, he didn't like being shouted at. I don't really feel comfortable using heavy weapons, uh, mainly because you don't, you get stuck in the animation too much. Or like, what I mean is, the wind-up takes so long and I don't know, I don't know. It's a trade-off for sure, which one you prefer. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, this is where the, uh, the Revenant is, isn't it? I really hate the revenants, especially when I'm using this weapon. <laughs> uh, you don't know. I I know. So you, you don't have to tell me. I know. I really hate the revenants. They're so awful. The worst enemies. Oh no, it's a grafted scion. Oh, well, I mean... Same, same, but different, you know? They're all full of limbs. Oh! Nice. No, no, no. The window for that was not long enough. That roar is... very risky. <laughs> because that also has a really long wind-up. What what is the spin to win? rolling so much right now.
Because it has too many limbs, so I, I don't... I don't want to take any risks. There we go. Go to sleep. Black cats! How you doing? We did it! And it's never coming back again. Uh, you know as well. <laughs> it's almost as bad for you. They are very handy. Yeah. Yeah. To me, they're both pretty bad. If you would ever do cosplay run of one of the bosses or NPCs from this game, like using their armor and weapons and or spells, you have in mind who would it, who would it, it would be? Well, I mean, I do I do really like Melania's style with the helmet and everything, so that would be cool. Um, would be very difficult to do though, because well, I mean, not the most difficult, for sure. Um. But it would be expensive and time consuming. But how you doing, black hats? But yeah, that would be cool though. That would be cool. I would I would like that. I do love the the the, the boss design. Your shift key's not working properly? Is it stuck? I don't know. Is there any point in going here? Isn't this just the way to get to the... Um, the Volcano Manor? You know, you took the thing out and tried blowing trash away if there was any? Hmm. Hopefully that will fix it then. We don't think it helped. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with the bats. There's the one merchant. Yeah, I know. But I don't think he has anything useful. Not to me, at least. Well, I mean, he is here, so we could welcome. see. We can, we can check. Yes, right. Welcome, are you, please? I'm hungry. Nomadic war. I don't have this one though, but like, I don't need it. But I tend to buy all the cookbooks anyway. Yeah, this is this is the outfit you start off with if you use um if you do a faith build. Loot is not useful. Well, I mean just just to me right now, but in general, like it is. Wait, wait, wait actually, you know what? Stone sword key, I have actually run out of that. Oh, so, you know, I am gonna buy one of those because I did go to a place where I needed one and I didn't have one. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good today. How are you doing though? How are you doing, Black Hats? This is a long ladder. There's also the other faith starter. Wait, leg ball? Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> I guess I just said that because like that was the one I started with when I planned on doing a faith build. <laughs> I don't know if it was actually... This was a terrible idea. 
Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I think maybe I shouldn't do that, you know? We don't, we don't have to do that. Okay, there's a rope ladder there. But I want to go... Oh yeah, this! This is where the, the cave with the... the cannon is. Right? The the jar cannon. In here. But we, we don't have to do that, though. I just... I just knew that he was around here somewhere, but I've said it like three different times now. <laughs> I've said it like three different times now, so like, oh yeah, this is the actual one, by the way. <laughs> I was about to look at chat, but like, th that would have been such a stupid death if I look at the chat and just move slightly to one side and just fell off. Um... You still use the blindfold for your aesthetics? Wait. I don't know if I had any blindfolds for mine. I I just had the hood. You did s start character with the confessor as well, but didn't go far. Mm. The prophet? Yeah, I, I think so too, yeah. As the prophet. Cannon, cannon cave. So, should we... No, I don't... Because if I die here, I'm just gonna... Well, I mean, I actually don't have that much... Uh, that many runes right now, so we could do it. You chose the Prophet's starting class for the new run for the DLC prep and stuff, but you didn't like the weapon at all. Hmm. Yeah, I only made my um, faith build. That was like my my second character because I started one off stream before I was done with my first playthrough. And I I only wanted to play as well. I only wanted to do a faith build so I could use the the winged scythe because it's the coolest weapon in the game. <laughs> Well, it's it has the coolest move sets in the game that I've seen. The coolest weapon art. Just got back from grocery shopping. It's so freaking hot out. Mm. But I'm glad you back home then. This was the first time since you started a new character didn't fight and defeat the tree sentinel at the start. Hmm. Interesting. In my first playthrough, I didn't even see the Tree Sentinel, and someone came into my chat and mentioned the Tree Sentinel. I was like, that is a spoiler! I haven't seen any Tree Sentinel. And they're like, but he was literally right there! I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about! I've never seen one! <laughs> because I missed it! <laughs> because I went south. I went towards the, the, the lake instead. So I didn't see anything ahead of me. And then I went to... I actually don't know how I got to Kale, but I, somehow I must have just taken a a longer way around, so I didn't see the the tree sentinel. And for the first run as well, he wait and uh, did just run past, mm, or after dying a couple of times. You made three characters and never continued. Hmm. I've only had one character that I haven't finished, and that was that one. The... That was the... The Faith one. Missed the dragon for some while at the Limgrave area? Oh. Interesting. But yeah, should we do this? How much do have we had on the timer? I know it ran out, but I don't know if it was the second or the first timer. Should we give it a go? I don't have a lot to lose, so I can do it. Oh, I should probably rest at the grace, though. <laughs> so I don't have, like, five flasks. Because I'll give it a go with the weapon. <laughs> Spoiler straight to jail. I know, I know. 
I've always been so strict with spoilers. I was... <laughs> and then it's like, I considered things spoilers because I didn't pay attention. Or like, I, it wasn't that I didn't pay attention. It was more that I just didn't retain the information. Or I forgot what it was. So I remember Palm mentioned the Dung Eater before I had even met the Dung Eater. And then he, like, I got annoyed because of the, 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 he spoiled me all that. But then it's like, but it's literally in, in the intro. But like, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember that. There's too much information thrown at you. How am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> There's a spot up here that you can land and the fight doesn't start. Oh. Is it the way you... Especially if the exploration is the biggest thing. Hmm. It's been a while since I've... I don't- I didn't mean to do the- the weapon arts. <laughs> yeah, see, this is why I don't like using heavy weapons, because even if you do a heavy attack, it's- it- it just- And I can never dodge that one. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've done this that I don't remember how to dodge it any any of it. I wish it could fall off. I forgot that that was also delayed because every enemy in this game has delayed attacks. Dude, can you relax? See what I mean? I'm trying to use a heavy attack and it just moves away too quickly for me to use it. At least this I remember how to dodge. <laughs> heavy attack that landed. That's insane. I forgot that he comes back. Oh, he comes back a third time. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought two was the most. Oh, I managed to do that, dodge that too. doing so little damage that I'm just I'm just doing this to practice more than anything. I'm not hoping to beat this boss at all. What? Dude, 
Oh, I'm out of heals already. What? But it wasn't it supposed to do like two others before that big one? Interesting. Yeah, we're not gonna do this though. It was just a try. Um. Uh, you want to grab the star shard thing without the fight starting because you didn't want to deal with that yet? Mm. Most of us don't keep poop eaters as top of our primary priorities. True. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Luckily, there has not been. It hasn't been as hot recent few days. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Here it's 15 now. <laughs> Here it's 15 degrees. But it's also almost midnight, though. These guys can be rough. Especially if you're using a weapon that you haven't leveled up yet. <laughs> uh, if you like watching a trailer before a game comes out, is okay and fine, but watching the trailer while in the middle of the playthrough... Wait, what do you mean? Watching the trailer out in the middle of the playthrough would be spoilers for playing games like this. Oh, because you you will kind of get more context. Is that what you mean? Especially the one in the cave that's early. Hmm. I actually had a an easy time with that one. This one I didn't. I think. I think I beat that on on I don't remember how many tries, but it was I I did it pretty quickly. I'm talking about palm though, your reasoning is good. It's probably not that. <laughs> There's new context and perspective from the game. Mm. Yeah, I agree. It's like I don't mind watching an intro to an anime. Um, but I, because a lot of the time, even though it is spoilery, it's only spoilery when you know what, what it is. <laughs> it's only a spoiler when you know what it is. So then watching it later, it's still not a spoiler, but you just know that it's, it's more like foreshadowing. I'm mentioning this because I recently, I, I finished watching season two of Jujutsu Kaisen yesterday uh, because I haven't watched it until now and it was very interesting how the intro is filled with a lot of foreshadowing but you don't know that it is until you have watched it and it's not like it's gonna be a spoiler to know that either because it's very vague so it's not like in your face either It's only, like, you know what it means when you see it in the show. And you watch the intro after. But you don't know it by just watching the intro. And that was pretty cool so, to watch that all the way through uh, at the end as well. To, like, pay attention to all the things that is being foreshadowed in the intro. <laughs> but it's very, very vague. So you... It's not even a spoiler for me to say this right now, because you don't know what it means until you see it. It's very abstra abstract, most of it. Well, not necessarily as abstract, but it's just... Anyway. There was one anime that spoiled everything in the intro that you saw, but you don't remember which one. I mean, lots of them. I mean, some of them actually do have some spoilers, though. I think it's also because a lot of them assume that you've read the manga beforehand. Uh, which is kind of stupid, but <laughs> I tend to watch intros all the time. Um, even if they do contain spoilers, because I'm just, I just try not to pay too much attention to it. Because I want to, I want to hear the song and everything. And uh, yeah, see if it looks cool, the intro. I like the five ones you have seen. <laughs> yeah, the foreshadowing. Mm. It's kind of cool. You have thought next time if you 
watch new anime you want to go uh, to watch the intro so carefully try to predict stuff maybe mm. yes it is pretty cool it is pretty cool you never skip intros or outros and you wish sites wouldn't auto skip them either um they don't do it where i watch them though but i i um so you have to manually skip them if you want to i mean it has like a button where you can click on it and it will just skip the intro for you but it doesn't happen automatically. Mm. So where should we go now? Should we talk to Selen? Can we talk to Selen? Or I mean, I'm, I know we can, but like, will she have anything new to say? <gasps> Wait, also, maybe we can find um, Dialos here? Will he be here now? Or will he appear somewhere else before this? I wish that that was the case with all sites, uh, more than, more that you could switch which one to use. Mm. Yeah. The armor! Yee! Let me talk to the, the jar bairn. It's kind of funny how in, in Scottish, Bairn means like child, and then it also means that in Norwegian or I guess in all the Scandinavian languages, barn. Like it's it's written a little bit differently, but it it's basically the same word. Ah, oh, hello again. Say, cuz, have you met Uncle Alexander? I have. He used to live here with us, but then he left to be a champion. I asked to go with him, but he said. The path of champions must be trod alone. So heroic, right? I miss him, though. If you see him, you should ask him to teach you how to fight, cuz. He's big and tough and strong. Yes, he is. Uncle Alexander said he won't be back again. My home is of the past. And the past, as they say, is a different country. I suppose that's part of being a warrior, isn't it? So, please don't tell anyone, cuz. But I'm actually a warrior jar as well. One day, I'll be just like Uncle Alexander. I like his little feet. I'll have to leave the village <laughs> to become a champion. It looked like little crow feet, in a way. <laughs> Selen, why why you keep talking about Selen's feet? What is it about Selen's feet? I know that there are a lot of feet in this game, but Selen particularly, I have not noticed. You think there is some resetting needed here for the stuff to progress? Mm. First, I'm gonna check though before I do anything in case in case I. I love this place, though. It's so cozy with all the little jars. With all the little jars. Yeah, won't he be in, like, this hut or something? Or... Or is it somewhere else? Yeah, let's go, go, go rest. He should be there. Mm. That's what I thought. I know I can ride, but I, I just feel like it would be disrespectful if he's dying. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> uh... Okay, so it's not yet, then. How do you progress uh, that quest, though? Because last time I saw him, he had left... Well, I mean, he was at the Volcano Manor, but he left. So he, he's not there anymore. I don't think you have to kill the hostel in the Nordic Lands to get him here. So, does that mean that he will be here just because you 
enter uh, that region then? Is that what will we'll trigger it? Maybe you have to talk with the jar person more? Maybe. Is he the one who's going to be the potentate? <laughs> Do you know what a poacher is, cuz? They hunt us, smash us, and then take us away. This village is kept secret, so I think we're safe here. But you should be careful if you ever meet one of them, cuz. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up first. He will. Her feet is the first thing you notice when you met her? That's bold of you to admit, not <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those awful poachers. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up. Those Okay. Let us try to re uh, rest again. I think you need to talk with Jar Baron first a couple of time times. <laughs> Follow toe, bro. <laughs> uh. Well, you guys are in good company, at least, with each other and the game, because the game also loves feet. Oh, hello again, cuz. Have you heard? Oh! The new potentates come to the village. Okay. I think he said his name was Tialos. He seems a little down in the dumps, but his hands as smooth as silk. I love the way he said silk. He was so cute. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, actually. Even though good Sir Dialos has a wonderful suit of armor. So you notice too, huh? He says he isn't a warrior. And since he's a coward, he won't be fighting anymore. His smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us. But I wish we had a potentate big and strong like you. <laughs> <laughs> Miyazaki's also based. <laughs> Dialysis' smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us. But I wish we had a potentate big and strong like you. Well, this is what you get when you, you want silk smooth uh, hands and a uh, strong warrior. You can't have both. You have to have one or the other. And you have to have one or the other. You can't have both. That's what I'm trying to say. Because... Have you not watched Demon Slayer? Have you seen... Have you seen Tanjiro with his, like, calloused hands? Because he's been training so much? Do you see how good he is? You see? It has to happen. You can't have silky smooth hands. And be a good warrior. It doesn't work that way. He's just a little guy. Yeah. I just love his feet when they're dangling like that. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm not a feet person, but that is adorable. That's what I'm saying. His his little crow toes. Jurassic Park. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Imagine all the jars having movie night. <laughs> As you notice too, huh? Would that be too obscure to quote? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Rob loved this guy. He played the fuck out of this game when he first came out. And you remember he specifically made you come look at this guy. Yeah, but he's adorable. Look at the little jars. They're so cute. I I can't I can't wait until I get the plushie. I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it for for a couple of months now. But just just look at his little feet. <laughs> you already made it a quote. Tiny little crow toes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's go find Diallo's. Just look at them. They're just just playing around. Well, 
Aren't you full of beans? No wonder you're covered in muck. <laughs> Aww. Oh, my friend, it's been far too long. I have to say you caught me at a rather low point. But as you see, I've put all that behind me. Left the volcano manor, forging my own path now, making my own choices. Even a fool like me can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? Well, don't. I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm on the straight and narrow. A fool I may be. Do you pity me? Well, it's adorable though. It's like it's like a kindergarten full of jars, and he he's he's like a kindergarten teacher, you know, just taking care of them. All the little little jar bands. Let us rest. They're like, you need to come see this. <laughs> it was an emergency. But it is, though. Because you could have missed it. Well, actually, you can always come back here, though. But I don't know why I summon Torrents. I guess I'm just too lazy. Dialysis is smooth, but I wish oh. we had... Hmm. A fool I may you okay, so we need to do some more stuff then, progress in the story, and then we will have more to do. I guess. <laughs> it was. It, it's true, it was. I can imagine the, the stare that you give <laughs> while, <laughs> while sending that. <laughs> You were the poucher who killed the jars in your first run here? Oh no, Orion. Orion. Don't say that. Yeah, let's have a chat with Selen. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Shall show Azure sorcery. Wait, did she already tell me to go and find it? Or are you just supposed to find it automatically and just give it to her? It's, I, I don't know how this works. Like, obviously I see that it's triggering now, but like, is she ever like telling you to, like, does she ever tell you to go and find it at some point? I think she might have, but she does tell about it, you're pretty sure. Hmm, I just don't remember it then. What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah. Then you have seen Master Azure. Azure. Master Azure was a founding glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. A stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. Tell me your story. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for Toothless? Easier to? Wait, I actually think I said that in my first place. And bound by terrestrial taboos. No matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Uh, let us journey together. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. Mm. See, now that you mention that she's barefoot, now I, like, obviously I can see it, but I've never paid attention to it before. 
Did you ask? Did you mention half? Uh, I don't think that I asked. I, I think it was just a rhetorical question. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses it. Okay, him. but now we know where to go. Sullian Sealbreaker. I need him to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. Lead on Lusat. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home. A place called Celia in the eastern Caled wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of Death a Note is a, an enemy. Still cooped up nearby. It's one of the most popular enemies uh, in since the 2000s, at least, I would say. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard a place called Celia in the Eastern Cape. Thinking about it, I obtained Wait. the glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. Um, Death Note is actually one of the, the better shows to watch as an introduction to anime because of how... how it's not so over the top that most animes are known for uh, or what is very typical for anime because it's I don't know I feel like it doesn't have the typical anime formula in a way it's kind of the same with the well at times, I would say that the same uh, goes for Attack on Titan as well, but... It's it's a very good starter anime. If you like uh, darker and more like... Very suspenseful animes. Or shows in general, really. Um, I think yours was One Punch Man, maybe? I love One One Punch Man. I wish that the second season was as good as the first one, but the first one is just so good. <laughs> and the... I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there's like a specific fight. I mean, if you know, you know, because it's also like the music and everything is so intense and so over the top. It's just so good. I kind of I kind of want to rewatch it now. <laughs> You watch it with June and all the other ones as well. Maybe Howl's Moving Castle, but that's movie. Hmm. You don't remember lots from it. Honestly, I don't think that I remembered a lot from Howl's Moving Castle either after my first watch. After I, after I watched it for the first time. Uh, so when I watched it again... It had, um, it felt like I watched it for the first time, <laughs> except like the beginning and the end, but, like everything in between I had completely forgotten. Oh, you mean One Punch Man? Okay, okay. I thought you meant, uh, Howl's Moving Castle. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that my a place called Selly, thinking about it wouldn't be too much. Yeah, I just, just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Okay, so we can go there. Hold on, let me just switch my, my weapons. My weapons. It sounds like I'm saying my wet pants. Church of the Plague. 
Celia Hideaway? No, it's it's not here. Is it? Is it here? I thought that there was a grace inside of there. Yeah. The hideaway. Mm. Thank you for the water. But yeah, we already... Uh, no. Why do I keep trying to summon Torrent every time I try to light the... The lantern. Ugh, the annoying thing that I, is that I have to go through everything now. But we, we have already done this, though, so we don't have to do anything except the... The place we need to go to. Not the wet pants, I know. Um, <laughs> wait, is that a Bulbasaur? <laughs> Feels, 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 feels bad, Basaur. What a missed opportunity. They should have named that. It was the Fia quest, uh, but the last time you said you don't want to go there yet. Yeah, like, as long as it's not something that, um... What? But I have fought that one before. I thought that the revenants wouldn't respawn. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Bulbasage. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, as long as it's well, I mean, I know that this one also isn't um time sensitive or anything. But yeah, if it's not something that I need to do within a certain amount of time or before I do something, um, do something specific, then I... Relax! Dude, I hate any anyone who does magic in this game, honestly. Such a pain in the butt. Um, you think they do respawn? Pretty sure. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just using the basic uh, weapons right now. It is this way, right? It's not where the revenant is. Like, I don't have to go down down that way. It's this way, right? I think so, at least. But there was a America statue there. No, wait. No, it is the other way, isn't it? No, I'm just so confused right now. Two different ways, and I do not remember which one it- I know that this is the way to the boss. But I don't remember if the boss was the same way that the... The seal was. No, wait, wasn't the seal after the boss? I don't know. See, like, I don't remember anything. <laughs> uh, we fighting off all the enemies. <laughs> It's true. It's true. And you have this one who falls from... Right down here. Woo. I love these little, little dudes. Is 
It's there somewhere for sure, yeah. Okay, so it was not this way. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure if there was anything past the room, because like I... Now I kind of mixed up this room with the uh, the one... Um, you know... Wait, is there a way you can fall down here? No. <laughs> um, with a bloodhound one crystal room with that because that there you can you can I think you can continue no can you yeah because that's how you get to um mm. I forgot her name why do I keep forgetting everyone's name today um the old Benoric woman you know <laughs> you know that one <laughs> Atena, yeah, I need to remember Atena uh, and Antenna, that that word. That's how I usually remember her name. Antenna. Wait, I haven't been up here. Now my inner giddy, but it's just easy. The only reason why I remember that so well is because Rods has made it into a a meme. Wait, you know? Wait, have you <laughs> have you seen it when he he does that? Yeah, it, it's just because he he it's it's just a bit that he does. Basically. But yeah, you're right, Chris. The, the crystal snails are the best ones, despite what Ron says. It's true. It's true. Um, imagine having a triple thong on your chest if you had a six pack. Wait. A triple thong on your chest? Wait. Why did I say that? <laughs> What was the context there? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but you man, like you know, there's some there are memes about it. Oh, I see. I don't know any memes. I just learn about memes through other people. So. Here it is. Ow! Mm, Eleven out of ten, little guys. It's true. It's true. I don't think you were here for that quote. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but it was Lisa P, though. So I'm trying to think of. Of what enemy it could have been that had like I'm just trying to look at the the head but it won't let me because I can't get in, uh, get any closer stars of ruin. Okay, there I can. Well, I wouldn't. It, it's not really polite to to like step on old people like this, but I just I just want to see the 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 the, the bulbous head, whatever it is. <laughs> you missed most of the last of P playthrough. Hmm. I mean, I know you were here when I did the rabbit brotherhood fight. Don't remember how the name is in this game. 
the telescope? I do have it, but I, I, I'm not gonna bother with it. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not gonna bother with it. Oh. I, I'm not gonna do that. No, no, no. Well, I guess I just have to teleport then. Well, we can go to, to Selen again. That you remember? Mm. I remember too. But that was in September though. Uh, and that quote was from October. Which means... It must have been pretty late game. I don't know. A top tier little guys. Mm. You, you should have said A plus top tier little guys. No. You want to play Eliza P again now? Me too, honestly. I, it's such a good game. Such a good game. And I still have only gotten one ending. My apprentice. Give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. About the request? The form you see before you is merely a projection. I know. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy's shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the Lands Between. I know. Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of I know. the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I can do I that again, yes. That I can only trust with you. But yeah, we're getting an ad, um, so I'm just gonna take a short break while the ads are running because I haven't taken a break yet. Um, hey Drew, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Um, but yeah, I also want to play Liza P again. But yeah, we're getting an ad, um, and I can't snooze it anyway. Um, but I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Um. In the meantime, go check out Drew as well, if you haven't already. Um, kind of want to play it also one day, but not very soon. Mm. You're also playing Elden Ring. You're also playing the DLC, I think. Um, I have got... We, thanks to Chris here, uh, I have the DLC now. But we, we are not quite there yet to start the DLC. Uh, it's not really fun to step on all people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Drew also is playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. That's how I found his stream, because someone that I watch, uh, that I already follow, also raided into him. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Uh, won't take too long. Won't take too long. I just don't want to do anything uh, while the ads are running. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit.
We're back. We're back. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Um. But yeah, uh, I meant to ask Orion. How long did I use the weapon for? <laughs> I was like, oh no, did I use it for as long as I was supposed to? <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. But thank you. How are you doing, Drew? How are you doing? I've not been able to watch your streams lately because I'm I'm back at work now, which means that I'm I'm working usually at the around the time that you stream. Or I'm getting ready for work at least. Or I'm asleep. I don't know. <laughs> time zones are weird. And Thunders, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. How did you sleep? Water is important. It's true. It is true. Hope you all remember to get some water. Get a water. Oh, yes. Do it. Do it. You okay? Today was a busy day. Is it work? Or... You're pretty sure it was more than the two times ten minutes. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little bit. <laughs> I'm. I'm. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit confused today. I guess. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, we've already had two weapon wheel spins today. That's why the the subs are uh, reset, so it's at zero now. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, we have a wheel spin run where for every 5 or 5th sub, any type of sub, or 1500 bits, I will do a weapon wheel spin. And I'm gonna use a weapon for a 20 minutes that the wheel spin will decide for me. The reason why I have it on 20 minutes is because if it's something that I really don't like, <laughs> at least I have a, like, a maximum limit that I need to use it for. Um, but I do tend to use it a little bit a bit longer if I do like it. So I have uh, I have used uh, most of them for more than twenty minutes, I would say. Um, but yeah, work stuff. Mm. But at least it's Friday now. I hope you don't work on uh, on on the weekend. So that is good. If you if you get the weekend off. You slept good. Didn't want to get up, but girl had an exam. And an assignment in four and six days. Oh yeah, that's true. You have a busy... Yeah, because on Saturday you said that you had like... It was like two weeks from now or something. Or from, from then. So. But you can do it. You can do it. We believe. You're back too! Welcome back, Craig. How... Uh, uh, how's your water? <laughs> It's 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 going well. I mean, the water I think is doing okay. Um, also, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk to Selen. <coughs> Wait, Lusad's location. Wait, we can talk about that again. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred spirit. Mm. This is a mere token of my thanks. You're welcome. Please take it. Is that it? This brings us a full step closer. <laughs> the bodies of Masters Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. We'll find a way. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you. And you fly to Cal California in two f I was gonna say two days. Five days. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting. You have such a busy and, and exciting week ahead of you. Wait, how long is the flight for you? Isn't that super long? Well, I guess when it's California, it's on... It probably goes the other way, <laughs> right? So it's like... It would be closer for you to move east, like take the plane from from like east from where you are, as opposed to west. 
It's 18 hours? Holy crap. Damn, that's wild. I think the longest... I don't know how long the longest is that I've taken. My first flight was to China. And that was 8 hours. So that was a long flight for a first... Um... But I think the longest was when I also went to the US. Like two years ago now. Two and a half years ago. But there were also a lot of layovers, so... <laughs> that added to it. Those are very nice. So you wish there was, like, unlimited amount. But what do you use it for? Because I've never used that. Are we talking about the Starlight Shards? Feet? What, what is what is what is up with you guys and, and the feet? <laughs> you rarely use them because you don't want to run out. Mm. I've never used them. I don't. Some cases are super helpful for you. Your longest flight has been fourteen and a half hours from Brisbane to like. Wait, so this will be your longest flight? Oh, no. Well, I mean, you said eighteen hours of travel, so I guess that also. Uh, includes waiting and or maybe some layover and stuff. You think you made on a plane once, maybe? Or two times? It gives... FP passively, slowly... Oh! I see. Yeah, you know... That is pretty useful, but I never used it. <laughs> I've never used it. Um, Especially in some co-op cases, they're very nice. Because limited amount of flasks. Hmm. You have four hours to uh, Fiji, then ten and a half hours to Lax. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. Well, that is that is a fair amount. I hope you at least the 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 plane ride is. I hope they have comfortable seats and everything. So you can you can nap. Been to China. I've been looking into getting your passport to start doing some international travel. It'll be cool to really get out and see the world. Highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. I went when I was 15. So that was the first time that I uh, I was on a plane. Um, so I don't know. It sounds so weird when I try to explain this in English. <laughs> but it's like, it's like a, a very common tradition here in Norway where... You know, because of... It's supposedly like a... Originally a Catholic tradition where you get this, like, confirmation or whatever it is. You know, if you're baptized, you get a confirmation when you... It's kind of like a sweet 16 type of deal, but it's more like a, a religious thing. Um, But no one really does it for the religious aspect of it. It's more like just a tradition. Um, But I didn't get one of those, so... It was more like, I wanted to do it because I wanted to, I wanted to do it with my, my friends and stuff as well, but seeing as I wasn't baptized, I, I would have had to do that as well. <laughs> and my parents really didn't want me to have one, so it's like, we, they had a deal with us as uh, kids that if we didn't have one, they would give us like a certain amount of money but for me i ended up going on a vacation instead with my mom so we went to china we went to china which sounds like a lot like we were not uh we didn't have a lot of money or anything but it's like these parties that they have for the the confirmation and stuff usually far exceeds what that trip would have cost um that most of these people around the age of 15 have. So, I mean... I'm really glad that I decided to travel, though, instead. Because that's far more memorable. But I think it was mostly because my parents were divorced, so they didn't want to have to deal with a party like that. <laughs> when they weren't on good terms or anything. Um, so you have... To have been twice then because you're back. Wait. Oh, well, in, yeah, in that sense. Yeah, I think for you it was to Sweden for a school trip. Pretty sure it wasn't on ship. Hmm. 
You swore that was the last time? <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, I hope so too. It will be your first time flying with Fiji Airways. Nice, nice. I hope I hope it's a pretty nice flight though, and and comfy seats and no loud kids or anything either. Mm, where are, how, well, have you been? What did you like most about other places? Where have I been? Your friend's wife is from China, so he's made a few trips there. Nice. Yeah, I highly... Well, I mean, for me, it was... I went before it got really bad with the smog and everything. So I wonder how it would be now. It probably wouldn't be as nice, but... Like, I remember when we were there and we... It rained and we used an umbrella. It was like... It was all yellow because of the, the smog. I came down with the rain and everything. Um, so, yeah, and this was in, yeah, I was 15, so it was quite a while ago. <laughs> so it, it, I don't think it's gotten any better. I'm just gonna see what she has to say about the request. My body is on the weeping peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the church of Marika. Can you make the gym? I have something that I can only trust with you. Okay, she didn't have anything new. Um, but yeah, I've been to China. Obviously Sweden and Denmark because it's just because they're so close. Um, Germany, France, Spain. Oh, well, we also went to Andorra because that is in between France and, and Spain. And uh, the Netherlands and England, Ireland, China. <laughs> uh, I've been to Texas. I've been to Finland. I have been to Latvia. I don't know. Like there, there are a lot of places that I've been, but I, I'm pretty sure that I've forgotten something. Um, you only been to other uh, other country to S Sweden a couple of times, a school trip, and you think one. One's on land with some family members. You speed run. You speed run to a couple of places. <laughs> Been a couple of times on ship, cruise thing, but not on land. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I went to I. Uh, so you know how they they call it a, a francophile when someone is like super into French stuff, anything French. So I had a friend who we ended up calling a um, Finnophile because she was so into Finland and everything Finnish for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> so she was the one who wanted to go to Finland. Um, <laughs> she wanted to go to Finland. Uh, so we went there on New Year's Eve in, was it 2017 or 2016? Dude, I'm trying to find the, um, the cellar. Ah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I sh- I sh- I, I know, I know. I'm trying to not die. Fuck you. I also don't want Selen to die. I don't want to bring them any closer in here. Dude, stop it! So many! Die. Um, oh, Estonia! I've also been to Estonia. That was on the way to Latvia, though. 
I'm a pincushion now. Love my drip. You like my drip? Um... But yeah, I also, I, we also went to Estonia on the way to Latvia, Latvia because we... Well, I've also been to... We passed through Switzerland, I think. No, did we? I don't know. The reason why I've been to a lot of these uh, countries has been, been because we went on a road trip to Spain. So we passed a lot of countries and and um and also that was the case with Latvia as well because we that was a school trip. So we took a bus over there. And there was like this cruise ship type of thing. Well, it wasn't quite a cruise ship, but it was like a ship. So yeah, it's um, it's not a lot of different trips. It's more like a lot of different places in the same trips. <laughs> um, I've been all over. I love traveling though. I it's one of my favorite things. I do I do love traveling. Hopefully next year you can do some traveling. You might also be f fishing for ideas on good places to visit. Well, my favorite place to go to have they, they've been obviously i i loved being in china because it was so different um and i've also been I, i've been dreaming about going to japan and and south korea as well but i could only go one place at a time <laughs> and i know japan was also on that list um but apparently the my mom found a a more affordable trip to to China, so that's why I went there, which I'm really glad about. Like, I'm I'm happy that I went there, but out of the the places that I've been to that I've liked the most has been probably Ireland, maybe, because that kind of felt like home in a way. You thought a finophile was someone who really likes fish? I don't know. I mean, it could be. <laughs> I know what you mean, though, but it, it, it could be. Um, if you're off the number? Wait, which number are you talking about? Or what? which quote you mean? Oh, oh the pincushion one. <laughs> you really like to go on road trips? Yeah, that is a good way to to see a country properly. That's also why I really like going to Ireland because we, it was me and my friend. Um, we went to Dublin, and then I was the one who planned the entire trip. I love planning trips, um, <laughs> because I don't know. I just like being in control <laughs> when it comes to these things. And so I planned two day trips within that trip that we had, which I think it was, I think it was a week. So we had uh, one road trip going to, well, we, we took like a bus. It was more like a guided trip. Um, we went to the Cliffs of Mohair. Um, is it more or more? I don't know. I don't remember. But it's on the opposite coast. Because Dublin is on the east coast of the country. In the middle of the country, but on the east coast. And then the cliffs there are on the west coast. On the opposite side. And that took about three hours. So it's, it's a very small country. <laughs> so you can actually do a lot of traveling within the country. While being there. Um, so we did that, and we also went to the mountains. Um, see, I'm, I'm forgetting all the names today. Um, the Trinity? No, is it, is it called the Trinity? No. I don't 
remember. <laughs> I don't remember. But it's it's a really, really beautiful place, though. And it was a perfect time to go there. We went in August, which... We only had one day of rain. And it was beautiful. Like, nice and, and sunny for the rest of the week. So it was, it was good. It was good. Um, now it's even more difficult because so much... So much things are taken into account. Makes you kind of sad, actually. Hmm. Well, I hope that you can, like, as, if you require some more planning and stuff, I hope you guys can, can do it at some point, though. Time for the daily eyelid look. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your stream. Good night, all bloody legend in chat, too. Have a good night, Chris, and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, guys, tomorrow we will be in Serufian stream because we will be playing some Elden Ring seamless co-op with a randomizer with uh, Chris and Pickley. And there was also going to be a special guest, a secret guest that I don't know who is, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. So that's going to happen tomorrow. I think Sarah said it would happen around 1 p 1 p.m. Uh, our time, which now it's like half an hour past midnight, so 12 and a half hours from now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be there from the start, though, because I don't know if I'll even be, even be awake at that point. <laughs> but I will be joining in uh, sometime during the the evening or afternoon. But yeah, I hope you have a good night, Chris. Uh, he's probably left ages ago because I took so long to catch up. Um, used to go some nature place a lot when you were younger, like the immediate family relatives. Mm. It would be cool to do stuff like that now, but there's so much stuff that prevents or makes this much more difficult. Mm. I don't remember how much you like going back then. But now you do feel it was nice, but also maybe there was some things that actually weren't nice. Mm. Yeah, it's easy to remember all the, the positives when it's in the past. So it's very easy to forget when things aren't going as well, because we tend to... It's funny how, like, when people say negative things to you, like, you tend to remember the negative things that is being said opposed to the positives. But when it comes to our own memories and experiences, it's like our brain just remembers the positives. Well, I mean, not only the positives, but it's... It tends to be more positive things than negatives that we retain. Which, in a way, is good, but it can also result in you, you burning yourself. Again, if you make the same mistake again. <laughs> Ireland looks beautiful. You thought about New Zealand as well. You'd be really nervous about going somewhere that you don't speak the language. Most people do speak English, though, in most countries, even though they're not the f their first language. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that too much. The only problem would be if you don't speak English, I think. I think that's when you're going to struggle more um i also want to go to scotland i've also wanted to do that in for many years now it would take planning for sure but at the same time I, wait what what is that word It's just better to try to take some stuff into consideration because all the sensory stuff and stomach issues with the foods as well as other things. True, true. There is always the risk of, like, even if you don't really have issues with with uh, that from, from the beginning, stomach issues is always um, a risk when going to a different country, especially if you're going to a very exotic country. Um... Mainly because of the, the bacterial flora it will be different uh, from your own country. So it's not it's not because of like food poisoning or anything like that. It's just the, the bacterial flora is very different. Um, 
So we were told that when we went to China as well, that there would probably be one day, maybe two days where you had to like, your body had to adjust to the new uh, bacteria that are in, in the, in the country and in, in the food and stuff. Who will be streaming? Serufin, aka Sarah, will be streaming. I will not be streaming it because he he is the one who is celebrating his five years on stream. Um, so it wouldn't be right for me to stream it, I think. Uh, so we're, we're just going to hang out in his. You're still here but lurking. The heat took more out of you than you realized at first. So you don't know you're going to say don't be sorry, but still sorry because you really love hanging out and chatting. But the heat sucked the life out of me. Or you, not me, but you. Um, <laughs> but that is totally okay. Totally okay. You take all the rest that you need, black cats. You chill. You remember you might have been that you're very much, well, a lot of times very negative about those stuff, but you don't remember if it, you were actually like that or if that was your way of trying... It wasn't known then that you're autistic, ADHD, and now uh, maybe those stuff also affected then a lot. And there's also the complicated relationship stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can definitely see that. But there are always ways. I mean, you guys could try a very, like, a very short trip, like going to Sweden or something. And try it out. Um, or maybe like if there's... I don't know how far you are from Sweden. But like if you do... Like maybe a weekend trip or something. Go with the immediate thought moments. And you're already very picky about food you eat. And now you feel you get easily stomach issues anyways. Hmm. You also like to be in a car a lot. It would be cool to just travel there in Finland as well. You could you could do that as well because then the food wouldn't be uh, too different or different at all. My apprentice, thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll. Horse. I've just been yapping a lot now. <laughs> there is something I need you to look after. My primal and then we're just yapping again in the game. Star has fallen, and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life, and so I am trusted with you, myself. Except primal glintstone. Selen's primal glintstone. It is, it is beautiful, though. Is, is that, like, her heart? Because it has some red uh, stuff as well. So it's like, is it, it... Has her heart been, like, crystallized or something? Or what... How... Like, what is the... How is this... What makes up the the primal glintstone? I mean, we could we could see. Uh, 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 uh there we go. Glintstone from within the source of Selen's body, seemingly half alive. Blood vessels are visible within. In essence, primal glintstone is a sorcerer's soul. Oh. If transplanted into a compatible new body after their original body dies. The sorcerer will rise again. My apprentice, do you think it is? It, do you think it distasteful? Oh yeah, so this is when we're gonna need give it to that one body in 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 Selavis's cellar. Selen Selavis cellar. It's it's a lot of s s similar words. 
Yeah, like I keep asking questions and then it's like, if you just read the description, it will be there. <laughs> it's just... Um... I think the dialogue implies what it is, we do remember. Mm -hmm. Usat and Azur, the bulb in their head are st our stuff and th their stuff. <laughs> uh... Yeah, let us talk. Oh. Thank you, my apprentice. This is my essence. Please, treat it with care. Mm. Treat it with care. My apprentice, what you hold is my very being. Mm. Have you met Sharon? He I did on my first playthrough. Is that the guy who uh, who shows up at the um the festival treated what you hope I mean I don't remember his name but I remember what he looked like uh so I like if, by the name alone I would have said I don't know who that is but seeing as I have seen him before I know who you're talking about but I do not remember anyone's names well I mean that's not true I do remember some some names but not that one. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about sneezing? You can side with him or Selen in the invade. Hmm. She's gone. Okay, let us go and uh, see if I was right, because I don't fully remember if uh, that was how it worked, but we'll see. But yeah, you can side with him or sell in. Are you talking about the invade that will be at, uh, at the academy? I do remember, I think I remember there was some combat there or something. I mean, that's the end of the quest. Okay, this time I'm not gonna mess it up because now we have already found the openings. It's like, it's not gonna be that difficult to find. <laughs> sneezing, yes, sneezing. Yeah, if it's the that one you mean, then it is uh, transplant primal glintstone. My apprentice, just how long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again, and it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. <laughs> snug fit. <laughs> still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice, I owe this all to you. Hmm. Um... If you side with Jaren, you think he gives you one of the biggest upgrade weapon stones? Don't remember which one. Okay, that's not worth it then. I have n only sided with her, and I think that's what I'm gonna keep doing. <laughs> um, I also don't remember the relevance of him being there at all. Uh, I've completely forgotten about it. You would not feel comfortable to be put into. A puppet made by Selvis, but he's dead, so you know he he won't he he's finally I can return to the academy 
to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. He's a witch hunter, you think? Hmm. So he's like this game's version of a girl. And you know, I already saw... <laughs> uh, let's, let's go and see if she's already here now. You don't know for... What he has used it. True. Yeah, I think the summon will be outside. And I do remember there being two summoning stones here. Let me check. Yeah, and it's like... This one is red, so it's like, it's kind of... It's kind of hinting, it seems to me at least, that it's hinting that this is the best option because, you know... Well, I mean... I mean, I guess that depends on who you ask, but... To me, this one is more appealing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, the weapon upgrades are super limited. True, but still. We are playing on New Game Plus, though, and I'm not upgrading every weapon to the maximum level, so it's... I won't need it. And it... Get what you mean, but don't think that's very reliable to judge it. Hey! Just- just pretend, okay? <laughs> just- just pretend. Yeah, I don't have any interest in- in, like, aiding him, because I'm doing her quest line. Jeren, bringer of my death. You have my gratitude. For freeing me from my shackles. Time for your work is done. Join the school to reflect on your mistake. Like what what is he to me, you know? Uh, what? I was not expecting to die there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was kind of stupid. That was a stupid way to die. Because, you know, he's not even that strong. <laughs> you do get his robes as well if you side with Selen. And what else do you get from him? Is it just the... Is it just the... the stone? It's like, they don't really reward you for choosing him. <laughs> so it seems like it's not the best choice anyway. Jeren, bringer of my death. You have my gratitude for freeing me from my shackles. But I am afraid your work is done. Mistake. Yeah, I've learned I'm not going to be that close when he does that. Uh. <laughs> uh, Selen doesn't give you anything either like that. Doesn't she give you something when when she disappears, though? I don't remember what it is, but... It's like, you're doing her quest, though. Where the fuck are my runes? Like, I... I don't understand. Where the fuck did my runes go? Like, they were not in the... Um, in the summoning place. And they're not here. 
I don't I don't understand. You can kill him afterwards to get his armor? I mean, sure. But that doesn't feel like the intended way, because you can do that with anyone. You can just kill anyone to get their armor or stuff, you know? Um, You're doing both of them, unless you don't... You can check the map where they are. But I did! Well... What should they be, though? Um, hey, Palm, watch out for the book, books, books, fuss. Wait, books, books, fuss. Wait, what? <laughs> Cells also just yeets Renala to the side, like. Hmm. But yeah, how? I'm like, I'm looking at it here. And it's pointing north, but like, where the fuck will it, would it be? Mary Bookmas, mm. she gives you some spell. Can you can you tell me how how I see my runes? <laughs> because I don't know where to look. I'm like it, it's so difficult for me to see. Um, anything. I don't even know where to look. But I did go outside. And they're just pointing north, which is here. I looked for it even when I was... Before I went into the summoning thing as well. It might be a bug because Yeah, I mean I I still have runes, so that is kind of interesting. Ah, my apprentice. You've saved my skin once again. Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of Masters Azure and Usat returned, the Academy can hone the primeval current. So that we Fallen children of the stars shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the Academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling to be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. <laughs> Rest assured that I no. The entire Academy will swear allegiance to the new monarch, my apprentice. Become Elden Lord. I will. But yeah, I mean, Renala isn't gone forever, though, because she will appear again. Hmm. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the Academy's. <sighs> Glintstone crit. See, you get a weapon. You get a weapon. Do you recall what once I told you? That glintstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which course the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. Wait, she's to the side? Where? Weapon versus making already existing weapon stronger? Yeah. Where did you oh! Flee, my sweet there she is. <laughs> Come out from whence he hides. She, she's just hiding in here. Of the dark. Be not afeard. 
My beloved egg is with us. Come out, I pray thee. Uh, I think she should be. Mm. If you don't care for like individuals and the armor sets as well. Wait, I don't know what you mean by individuals though, because it's like, what is? Like, he's barely in the game, <laughs> and you're doing her entire quest line, so it feels wrong to kind of betray her unless, because she, sure she's not good. I don't know. She's kind of likable anyway. Someone has feet. Well, I mean, to be fair. You have feet here too. You have feet everywhere in this game. Some you can also get by killing the NPCs after the quests. Like as characters or people. Yeah. I don't like that though. I know you can, but I just... It feels kind of cheap in a way. I don't know. Thou art thou now assured of thy want to... Be not I would burn. It feels wrong to me to do that, because it's like... It feels like a shortcut, in a way. Oh, one last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. <laughs> well, that's reassuring. <laughs> you might be sus about how all the Glintstone stuff and how she was like before, and then you can learn about what it does. And if you don't like it, there happens to be also a person who wants her gone. That's true. I guess that is true. What is it, my apprentice? You meet her first and she does also have more dialogue in that sense. Mm. Yeah, I mean it is her quest. Uh it's not his quest. <laughs> so I don't know, it just feels kinda strange to not side with her. Look at this. Well, look at these dudes. And you also get her helmet. Wait, talk. Uh, my apprentice. I. Uh... Honestly, I don't think that I paid attention to this before. I don't think I talked to her in this form. <laughs> I just thought she was gone. <laughs> I don't know, maybe- I don't recall this one being here at all. I just remember that I picked up the loot here. And I don't remember seeing, um... Seeing this. Well, I mean, that's- that's what she wanted. I guess. Of course, Palm had to make it into something sussy. Um... But it's also kind of his quest. His quest? But... He's like a nobody in this game. Like, you don't- you barely even meet him. He's just an- like a side character in- in someone else's quests. <laughs> um, just like Selvis and Ronnie's quests are intertwined and stuff. I wouldn't really compare those two, though. I know what you- you mean, but I feel like the comparison isn't really fair. Yeah, sadly, that's what happens to her. Mm. Hey, it's what she wanted, though. In this game, you get the NPC bell bearing when you kill them or they die, so you can still buy their stocks. Mm. Let's see if he has appeared again. Well, I mean, I guess it's it has to be after progressing stuff with his brother, though. That's what I'm guessing. Get what you mean, but you're just trying to say that? Mm. smooth and silky hand but I wish we had yeah I I believe he is gone no I mean not gone <laughs> but he it's nothing new has happened I mean I just wanted to dub like make make sure I wonder why they want someone with smooth hands and stuff when they have so like all their feet and and hands and stuff are so rough like 
how I wonder how their sensory stuff works. Like How can they tell the difference when you see the the texture of their skin and stuff? I don't know. In this game, there are many quests that intertwine some more than others and stuff. Maybe it just feels nicer. <laughs> yeah, just I just feel like they're they're jars, so it's made up of other materials. So it's like the jars themselves aren't organic. It's just what is inside of them that is organic. So I'm just wondering how they can feel. Sure, they're hands and feet, but they're also like very rough. Sweden pants? Wait, what are you talking about? We can talk with Jaren after the festival as well in the Red Main Castle. We can also miss him completely, and in that way, Selen is more interactive. Hmm. Wait, we could actually go and talk to him. No, we can't because he's dead. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that wasn't actually meant to be a joke. I literally just forgot. Like, oh, we can talk to him. No, wait, I just killed him. I can't. We can't do that. That was that was just me being a bit slow. It wasn't because I was trying to make a funny. Um, doesn't the non-combat jars not have organics inside? Yeah, but the jars are still. Jar. Like, I, I'm just. I, I I want to know. Their biology. <laughs> I want to know their biology. Yeah, go talk to a dead man. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. Have you heard? Lady Rani. You know Sweden pants? I'm so confused. Path of Empyrean, from Rena's rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden. I express my deepest gratitude. You and only you were Lady Rani's true champion. Hmm. Just a Jaren hater. I the, the thing is he's just very, very he's just no one to me. <laughs> you don't mean you like him more? Mm. Dead men tell no tale. It's true. It's true. Unless, I mean, sometimes they do. I need more pants. You could also go free Blythe. I could. I could do that. I forgot where the next step is, though. Like, now in my head, it's like, now I need to go where I need to fight him being... Well, when he tries to fight me. But then, like, isn't there... there there's a step in between, isn't there? There's a step before... Yeah, that's what I thought. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. Lady Rani has departed on her journey. Along the dark path of Empyrean. From Rena's rise. As she calls it. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. Okay. So we could go to Rena's Rice? Is that what you're saying? But does anything change if you... Wait, now I'm like... 
Where do you free Blythe? I, did I even do that? I don't know. This really bothers me, that thing. <laughs> uh, that, that my runes are just stuck on the screen. Where the fuck are they? Didn't free- No, 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 I meant in my first playthrough. Um, I know I haven't done it yet, but I, I'm just wondering, did I even do that in my first playthrough? Um... Because I don't remember the step in between when you go here, underground, uh... And you end up fighting him? Oh, I completely missed the... the ads starting. I forgore. But yeah, I felt really, felt really sad when I had to fight him. I didn't I didn't like that. This is now you get the best drip in the game. And I'm gonna be using that drip next stream. Well, not next stream, but next time I stream this game, I assume. Because we reached the sub goal today. Do you mean like in here? Hmm, yeah. No, I mean, not, well, I mean when you get teleported underground. I forgot how, like the... Where do you go to free him? I don't remember. Unless we talk, like, no. Because fighting him isn't freeing him, right? You're talking about, we're talking about two different things now. So now I'm like wondering, did I even do that? Can you tell me where I need to go then? You mean the EG thing? Yeah, he puts him in the ever jail, but I don't know if I ever did that. Is what I'm saying. So I don't know which jail it even is. The same you fight the Bloodhound? No, I didn't. Wait, were you here for that? Yeah, yeah, I, I, well, I mean, now I know, but when you said, uh, I didn't, do you remember that I didn't do that in my first playthrough? Because I don't think that I did. Yeah, I'm talking about my first playthrough because I know that I haven't done it now. That's why I'm like, because I don't know which jail you were talking about. Because I haven't done this before. Yeah, I did not do this. I have not done this before. Then go to EG now or before doing this? Because I just talked to him and he didn't have anything new to say. Should I go to him now, before I talk to him? Because seeing as I haven't done this before... 
I just want to do things in in the right order and not miss anything. I can talk to him, okay. Oh, it's you. It's me. Bye. Old EG trapped me here. Told me I'd bring north but failed to Lady Rani. But there's no chance that could happen. I'm part of her bee. The very shadow. I thought old EG knew as much. Honestly. I don't know what's going on anymore. So I should not open it. I should talk to E.G. first. I can still come back and do this then, right? Okay. I feel bad. Sorry, Blythe. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. I love Blythe. <laughs> I don't I don't want him to be in jail. I do love EG too though. Greetings, my fellow. How can I help? You have to be quiet, it's night, but you want to howl as well. <laughs> uh why is Blythe in the Ever Jail? I presume you've spoken with Blythe. Very well. There is something you should know. The two fingers gave Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful follower. Her very shadow, incapable of treachery. But if Lady Rani, as an Empyrean, resists being an instrument of the two fingers, the shadow will go mad, transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. But such is his destiny. In such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It pains me so. But he must be neutralized. For Lady Rani's sake. Hmm. Lady Rani has along the now Lady Rani, I pray that- Yeah, so does that actually change anything then? Because it doesn't seem like it does. Because I never freed him from that jail. And you should still be able to finish your quest line, so it's like he doesn't actually end up killing her or anything, or whatever he like he says about betraying her, but I don't know in what way. Uh, you think it's just game code moment to put him into the rise when you trigger a certain point in the Ronnie, Ronnie's quest? So you can miss him in the Ever Jail? Hmm. I don't understand. Why would EG do this? I could never intend harm to Lady Ronnie. What was he thinking? Is there more dialogue if I go and rest and come back? I don't understand. I could never intend. No, okay. You were confused so you don't have to go to jail because you're too <laughs> black cats. Stop it. No, we're not in jail. Um Blythe is in jail and he's he's the best boy. Well, I mean He's a, a, a man, but he's he's a he's a wolf. So he's 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 a, he's a, like a doggo. <laughs> so he's the goodest boy. Okay, let's open. Hello, it's my friend. I thought he was about to attack me, and I, like I could he I could feel my heart just. In pain <laughs> because I thought he was about to attack me. <laughs> that was not a good feeling. <laughs> My thanks, friend. I'm going to see Mistress Rani now. I don't know what came over old EG, but even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. Now, Rani can finally set in motion 
the fight against her fate she's dreamt of for so long. But yeah, so we're also matching, we're using the same armor. I'm, well, I'm using different... Uh, no, I think I'm using the same uh, shoes as well, yeah. The only is... I'm, I'm not using the helmet though. But you see, we're matching. Sa same pants, same greaves, same cloak. See? We're matching. Um, he's a good boy. Yeah, I love Blythe. He also has a really cool sword. That does pretty. That does pretty. Fashion. Yeah. S total slay. I'm going to see Mr. Srani now. I don't know what came over old E.G. But even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. <sighs> but it still makes me sad, though. But yeah, if you miss him here and he still goes there, but he's like an invader, though. Will he not be an invader if you have freed him from the... I'm, I'm so confused. Because he appears red as an invader. So how does that fit into... You don't think that's actually Blythe, the red one? But we don't see Blythe again after this, then. If that is not him. So I'm, I'm so confused. You do? Wait, where? Oh wait, no! Oh no, he's, he's, oh no. I, I, I had, I had blocked that out of my memory. Well, you don't see him again alive. It made me so sad in my first playthrough when I had to fight him. <laughs> uh, I wish there was a way to save him. But how does he escape prison, though, if you don't free him and he still ends up there in front of the rise, or...? Well, my fellow, how may I serve you? As war counselor, Lady Rani, along the he doesn't have new dialogue. That you but yeah, I understand though. E.G. does it to protect her. He doesn't do it out of spite or he's he's doing it out of kind of kindness, you know. You get to progress some Rani stuff first. Okay, so we could go to the rise though. I just don't want to do too much. Or should we wait to do that until we can... To, until the cosplay? Because it's not that much. Well, I mean, it kind of is. It's a whole area. But we can just dedicate that stream to doing at least all of um, her quests. Because as soon as we go to the, the teleport there, there uh, we can just do that whole area. And then do the final thing with the dragon and, and go underground and all that stuff. You can just decide that that is what that stream is gonna be about, you know? And related quests. Mm. So what do you s suggest we do now then? Is it too early to go and progress to the mountaintops now? Hey Shane, how you doing? How you doing? That sounds fun. Yeah. So I'm thinking we're gonna do that cosplay stream on either either Friday or Saturday next week. <laughs> Could go to Nordic countries. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just don't wanna I just don't wanna progress in stuff without meaning to. Is all. As long as you don't go burn the tree. Okay, yeah. We we don't have time to do that today anyway. <laughs> but you're doing good. I'm glad. I'm also doing good today. 
Bell hunters? No. <laughs> Stop with the bell hunters. <laughs> uh, I absolutely hated this area. This and and the one before the. Well, before you get to the Haley tree. Like, navigating that area is such a pain. Do you have any plans this this uh, this weekend? Sh Shnep? <laughs> um, could go find the last manor contract to find finish those quests. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Like, I was kind of hoping to progress stuff with the the manor. Uh. Uh, and Millicent should also be here somewhere. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I forgot. Is it this way? No, that's death. And not Yura. Mm. Because it did his stuff also already. Link to that point, you're pretty sure. Mm. Yeah, we can at least progress a little bit. Wait, I missed the whole... Um... Black uh, rider thing. I forgot what it, what his what he's called. <laughs> ah. Okay. I don't think I've ever done that with these before. Again? Imagine if I died now. <laughs> that would have been so stupid. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm getting gooder at fighting the gargoyles. Gotten some good practice in this playthrough. Gotten gooder. Um, hold on. Not ca- uh, yeah, not the cavalry. Not cavalry. Um. Pee break? Go pee. Uh, this is the other weapon you use that this drops. The other tw twin blade. Mm. Get it. We got him. We got him. You did get- come get it and a couple of golden seeds and then didn't progress here before the DLC stuff. Mm. Wait, so you went to the DLC before moving this way? Damn, that's pretty early. Well, I know that you can do- you can get to, uh, Mogwin Palace as soon as you get to Lyurnia, really, but just seemed a kind of early. 
I feel like this gargoyle is way harder than the ones in the underground, or at least has more HP and damage. <clears throat> Wait, this one has more damage than the one towards Fia's quest? Is that what you mean? You're not trying to get you to go there now, just as a way to just say if you you should be fine, but don't mean I have to go there now. Mm. It has strength, faith, faith scaling. Mm. I didn't want to burn the, the tree in case. I didn't want to go to the Haley tree before doing the DLC if there's something. Mm. Yeah, but I, I think that the DLC should be fine uh, after you... Like, because a lot of people did it on playthroughs that they had already done. So they had already be beaten the game and then did the DLC. So I think it should be fine. But I mean, if it's a matter of preference, that's that's obviously also different, but... Um... For you, it adds to stuff depending on what you find in the DLC. Hmm. I don't know why I even talk to her. <laughs> um, it might change what you think about stuff. Hmm. I mean, I I think I'm I'm gonna. I mean, I already know what ending that I'm gonna go for, so I don't think it's gonna matter to me. Isn't this where you hoist the medallion? Well, I mean, not actually right now, but because I don't have the, the other medallion. Or, I mean, you, you no, you do it in the same spot, I guess. Right? Uh, it should be just fine doing it, like, after the playthrough, before going New Game Plus, because you can choose when to go to New Game Plus. Yeah. Let's hoist it up high. The damn pot guys go away. <laughs> well, they're different pot guys. At least they're not the, the good ones. The Hades ones are annoying. We don't like those. But the pot guys in this game... Whole different thing. Wrong pots. Yeah. They're just distant cousins that don't get along. <laughs> You play a hot- no, I have not. I have not touched it in... ages. I don't remember the last time I, I played it. Like, overall, uh, roguelites don't really appeal to me. Like, Hades is fun, but it's... <sighs> it's exhausting when you make a lot of progress and then you have to start over. Uh, that that's the main reason why I also don't want to do all the pantheons, at least not Pantheon Five, because it's just so demotivating having to start over after dying, and you there's no like checkpoint in between. <laughs> Do you plan to one day? Probably, but um, I have so many other games that I, I feel like playing before that. You can understand that. Do you mind Hades spoilers then? Um, it depends, I think. Wait, isn't there a, a clip of me just missing Yura, not Yura, uh, Shabiri? Shabrura? Sh Shabrura? No, that's, that sounds wrong because 
there's a word in Norwegian, bruga, which is just like an old term for a bride or like a wife. <laughs> you have a few cousins like that, you get it. <laughs> is there also one of the ass quote right up this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Why the long face? Why are you hiding your face? Previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. Gene! As for his flesh, <laughs> he gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace. Good quote. <laughs> Good quote. Uh, how you doing, Gene? <laughs> so you remember that quote? I did not. I did not. You were about to sacrifice something precious. The life of a fair maiden. May chaos take the you world. You toss into the fiery forge. Only so that you may be lord. What a horrible thing to ponder. Your ascendancy requires her sacrifice. Whether she wishes it or not, but how would the Lord crown so be looked upon? Sometimes you just move your head and there's a boob. It's true. It, it happens. Maybe not often, but it does happen. I remember what I talked about there. I was talking about going to the gym and uh, being in the... In the locker room and uh how it's just like you just turn around and suddenly there's a boob <laughs> and you don't mean to look it's just there and you can't help it because you're just turning around and you see it you know not intentional does they remember the parking horse is so funny to you? <laughs> yeah it's called parking uh, i also want to go back to to Black Desert, but I also like I'm itching to play some co op games now these days. And uh, on Sunday, like m we might play well, I'm not going to be streaming it, but I might be playing some Monster Hunter with, with uh, Chris and Lauren if they, they're up for it, unless they have other things they need to do, which they said it depends on the weather. Chosen tarnished. And would be Lord dare to tread the path of true rigor, spare the poor girl, and singe your own flesh in her stead. If you are prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship, then heed the words of I, Shabriri. May chaos take the world. <laughs> Your 4H battery charge is kicking in. You getting sleepy? Go go get sleeps. Go get sleeps. Playing with people is fun. Mm. I don't do it very often. But if it's with the right people, I do really like it. Boobs do be boobing sometimes. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> the boobist. <laughs> Away. Hey, you never know. You never know. I have managed to avoid most memes, actually. Why is that quote so funny to me? <laughs> Who quoted that? Was it you or was it Palm, Orion? I don't remember. Maybe it was, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. Chosen, tarnished, and would be lord. Descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. If you inherit the flame of frenzy, your flesh will serve as kindling, and the girl can be spared. 
setting you on the righteous path of lordship, the path of the lord of chaos. Burn the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. Indeed, indeed. I also miss most of your Celeste. Oh, yeah, I mean, that, that could be. I, could. I know you were there for some of it, though. You're so tired, of it, but it's funny. You don't have to be tired to laugh. <laughs> um, wait, so I'm I'm a little bit confused here. Um, I'm a little bit confused. Because. If you go and do the frenzied flame stuff, if you go to uh, the three fingers and you do that before going to to burn the earth tree and you get teleported to far Missoula. Like, she's gonna be mad at you. Like, Melina is gonna be mad at you. But you can also get rid of it. But you need to go to Fair Missoula to get rid of it, to get the needle. Or whatever it is. Right? So it's not really worth doing. If she's just gonna be mad at you anyway. I'm, I'm just kind of confused, because I know a lot of people have done that. <laughs> what do you mean? So if you do all the frenzied flame stuff, but you manage to get rid of... Uh... Like, you can get the, the, the singe marks and everything, but you can still opt out of that ending if you go to fight um which dragon is it in fair missoula the boss there and you get the well i mean you don't get the needle there but you you use the needle there to kind of cleanse yourself of the frenzied flame stuff Do you know what I mean? Because we did that in um, in our co-op run, where we did all of the frenzied flame stuff, but we still... You don't even need to do the fight the boss, just need to get to the arena to use the needle. Yeah, and that is the needle that you get from fighting Melania, right? But you had already burned Melina by then? Unless... Unless you do the frenzied uh, stuff, but she gets mad at you, but at least she lives. So how- like, I'm, I'm just so confused by how that works. Because she will be alive, but she will leave you? No, I, I know it doesn't take it away, but it takes away the, the ending uh, option. Wait, Black Cat? <laughs> Thank you so much! Thank you for gifting a sub to Jean. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the sub, Jean. But yeah, it doesn't take away the the marks, but it does give you the option to get a different ending. 
So you can still do all of the quests in one playthrough and still get a different ending. With the needle, it cures you from the finger's influence. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, you can only do it once, though. Wait, only do one. What once? If you get rid of the frenzy, you can't get it again. No, I know, I know. Unless you do a new game plus. Descend and seek audience with the mm. Yeah, so so my question <laughs> was Is it really worth doing if she like she just leaves anyway because she gets mad at you? But at least she will live. Because I was just considering if I should do that and just get rid of it, but I'm not entirely sure if it's worth doing. When does she get mad? She gets mad when you uh, decide to do the... take the frenzied flame. She gets mad at you for that. And she leaves you. You were at 55 needed to be an even number. But 55 is an even number. <laughs> but thank you so much though, Black Cats. I appreciate it. But she doesn't appear if you burn yourself. I'm pretty sure. But then she appears at the ending. Uh... No, I mean, I think she appears before then as well. Or does she appear right before you? I, I don't, that's like, that's why it's so confusing because I forget the order of things. I'm just gonna run past because I don't, I don't wanna bother with that. I was told when I did my first playthrough that I was the first person they had seen who walked past here instead of... Instead of uh, riding on Torrent. Apparently everyone else rides on Torrent. <laughs> but I didn't. Um, <clears throat> Mel and I will not be at the forge if you have the frenzy. No, I know, but at some point she will get up upset with you and leave. And she just says to you, don't go to the frenzy downstairs after you beat Walmart. <laughs> she does doesn't just appear anymore. No, I mean... No, but she... She... I know that she stops appearing, but she appears one last time to, like... kind of leave you, I suppose. Yeah, at the ending, yeah, but it's before then, too. I'm pretty sure. Because I never had that happen in my first playthrough. Because I got the frenzied flame stuff. Um, hmm. Well, I'm confused now. <laughs> Wait. Nice. Uh, she does leave when you get to the capital. Oh, that's what she says. Mm. After the three finger touches you, you rest, then she appears. 
Yeah, I think that's what I'm talking about. That she... That she gets upset that you've done that. And leaves you. That's what I was trying to say, that I, I thought that I remember that, but now I got really confused if I was remembering wrong. Um... Will she... Isn't... Is it around, isn't it around here somewhere? Up here near the Grace? Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is. Yeah, that's what I thought, that it would near, be near the Grace. <gasps> Hello! think we'd meet in such a place what could your purpose possibly no i know well enough who you are and what i know is good enough for me call upon me again in battle should you have the need i will i will now you get it so what's the question again i was just wondering if it would be worth doing to make sure that she survives but at the same time not get the frenzied ending because she will still get upset with you but she will at least not die no the heat melted your brain today and you really hadn't questioned it for a minute you couldn't do math when you said 55 is even but yeah it is it is because it's it ends with a five so it's an even of, of, of 10, you know? Well, I mean, not 10, but uh, what am I saying? <laughs> well, to me, it is an even number. But not like even in, in the sense that it's it's odd an odd number or an even number. But it's like, in a way, numbers that end with a 5 is even for me. But it, I know it's not like the traditional even does, does that make sense? Or am I just being confusing again? <laughs> but she also does want to be burned. I know, but... This is again how how I feel when it comes to games. When people ask to, to be killed, I still don't want to kill them. <laughs> Even if that is what they want. Oh shit, we just missed 444-44. Do it for her... Um... You don't care if she gets mad as long as she's alive. Hmm. Don't think you see her anyways, but again... Wait, hold on. I missed... Just want her knowing... Want the knowing that she didn't? Hmm. That's not even though, but no, no, you, what you mean can divide it without decimals, but you... Yeah! It's like, it's... In a way, it is an even number, it's just not... It's also an odd number, but it's an even odd number. <laughs> it's like one of the few even odd numbers, if not the only one. I, I don't know. I'm maybe I'm not. I'm probably not making sense, but it's just. It's like. Me is this autism logic? I don't know because I also when when I have volume up, I need to have it even, in the sense that it's like even with like. It ends with a zero or a five. So that is also even to me, in a sense. But it's just... It's just a different type of even. <laughs> Wait, Orion, you did it! You did it! You used to be typed that so fast. <laughs> but I said it after, it was 444-44. So I was like, wait... Um... You do understand what I'm, say what I'm saying, it makes sense, but you were tripping for a minute, and... For you, it had not hit that yet. Hmm, interesting. Because I thought that the uptime would be the same for everyone, but it was just the, 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 the... ...stream itself... ...would be kind of delayed, but at the... yeah, I don't know. Um... But what number am I talking about? Numbers that ends with a five. Five or zero. 
five or zero are usually something that I would consider even, even if it isn't technically even, but it is even in a way. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed, I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halig tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. I'm searching for a fort to the okay. head. Get what you you get what I mean? Even though even though <laughs> even though they're not even, you think you totally get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like when it's volume and stuff, I need to have it end with either zero or five. I don't know. You feel that is an autism thing? <laughs> Probably. Whenever people don't understand my logic, it's like, oh, maybe it's just an autism thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just in general with the relation with the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of my first signs uh, of OCT. OCT, by the way. OCD. Which is what I have a diagnosis on. And they've all, uh, like, several doctors that I've seen agree that I have OCD and uh, are very, I'm very... It is I, Natella. We're almost there. It's Shadowheart. Castle Soul lies just off to the north. Where the other medallion is housed. It will grant passage to the land of the Halig Tree. That's interesting because that is the first one that I've seen that um, Seribon hasn't taken care of. In a long, long time. But thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Um... Yeah, I've, I've been told that I'm, I have OCD and I'm very rigid and stuff, but still they they don't and and anxiety and all that stuff, but they don't they don't agree with anything else. Well, at least not my my uh, general doctor. Um, do you know what she told me when when I when I talked to her about it? She's like. No, you're not autistic. I've seen autistic people. You don't look like them. <laughs> or you don't act like them. So, that was apparently her logic to just totally dismiss me. Um, <laughs> you saw this when discussing how people find numbers ending with 0 or 5 to be more satisfying than number other numbers, like preferring the TV ah! volume be set to 45 ah! instead of 44 for example don't know how you describe it it's not even because five isn't even and two four six etc are i think it you don't think round works because that is only numbers ending in zero right yes wait no what you just talking about with the tv volume look at the post you just found on reddit you're gonna code it for you wait you found it on reddit just now that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's my logic. <laughs> Someone's asking if there's a word for even for numbers that end in zero five. Hmm. You feel so happy right now, <laughs> but you're not sure if you banned or just deleted. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you, Ryan. Now it's banned as well. Yeah, but that makes you furious. Honestly, it was really annoying because, like, I'm at the time I didn't really know how to respond. But I wanted to say, well, what does a person with uh, who is autistic, what do they look like to you? That's what I should have said, but I didn't think of that until afterwards. That's what I wanted to say and should have said, but I couldn't think of it. I feel five is only satisfying in the vol TV volume thing, but you don't need the TV to have even numbers yourself. For me, 5 is the most satisfying number because it's literally my favorite number. So any number that ends with 5, I love. So I'm I'm all for it. <laughs> uh, 
that makes you physically angry it's it's okay though i'm i'm on a waiting list to find a new one um but also thank you for the five bits yeah, I'm on a, on a list, uh, on a waiting list to get a new doctor because she has said a lot of things that has ah! made me angry. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she also, she is also the same doctor who told me that um, having, like, eating less than a thousand calories per day is not too little if you're trying to lose weight. Yeah, she told me that. So this goes to show how... Um, how yeah i can't i can't i can't talk to her about anything because she's just wrong <laughs> and uh i think i think it's all based on prejudice everything she says so i i don't feel comfortable going to her anymore Remember I talked about this before as well. Yeah, it is it is pretty pretty bad. <laughs> hope they step on a bunch of Legos. <laughs> I hope so too. Uh that was the first thing that came up. Uh thought it was cool that it was exactly how I was <laughs> explaining it. <laughs> but no, thank you, Ryan. Um if you're setting your volume, it has to be either zero or five, can't be in between. Mm. Who gave that doctor a diploma? Sure, she bought it. <sighs> I don't know. A lot of doctors are... Well, I mean, she's also... She's not from Norway. I don't know exactly where she is from, like, the exact country. I think she is from... Uh, she's from Eastern Europe somewhere, and... I have also encountered a different doctor who also is... Like, my old best friend, her mom, was very similar, and she was also a doctor. I don't know if it's just a cultural thing. I don't know. I can't say. But it just seems very odd to me. She was also the one who... She also told me that... Um... I think she was tired of, of um, my issues with uh, migraines and stuff, too. So she told me that... She basically told me to just suck it up and, and uh, you know, find a job and stuff and, and just push through it at a job. And I said, even on the days where I get so sick that I throw up and stuff and I can't do anything because a lot of jobs also involve sitting in front of a computer and in bright lights and stuff, which is almost impossible if you're really that sick. And she started saying that that's what she does. And like, do you, because she, is, she pulled the car that she also has migraines. And like, do you really go to work and throw up while you're at work and stuff? Does it really get that bad for you? And uh, I think she said, yeah, if I have to, like, I, I will do that if I have to, like, but that's not how it should be. That is not how it should be. You shouldn't have to force yourself to go to work if you get that sick. Uh, so she even sets herself to these uh, impossible standards then, too, because there's something about... This is what I mean about the cultural thing. I think for a lot of Eastern Europeans, it's also very common to have like very uh, high work ethic where it's like everything comes like work comes before everything. Like your needs don't really matter. Just working and being productive. And, you know, even if it costs you a quality of life, um, which I definitely do not agree with at all. Um, you found it interesting, interesting in a bad way how doctors are taught that illnesses and diseases can present differently in different people. 
And yet they don't seem to apply that same logic to mental health. Like why things present differently to different people. It's true. It's true. But there's so much stigma around mental health. Um, so even amongst doctors and they are not up to speed about like we learned so many new things there's so many new studies being made on these topics and these uh conditions or mental health stuff in general that uh, and they have to they have to keep up with it to 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 know how to give proper advice. So I'm like, maybe it's just, she's reached an age where she just doesn't bother keeping up with things anymore because she's not that young. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if it's an age thing or not. Probably not for everyone, but maybe in general, it is more common. It's also a lot, well, not very educated on stuff because all that is fairly new. Yeah, yeah. I think the first person to get autism diagnosis is still alive as well. Damn, that is kind of interesting. I didn't know that. But hey, Tom! <laughs> hey, Tom. Uh, you came in during a rant. Um, calling numbers ending with a five round is how we end up with silly measurements like the Americans. Uh, well, I mean... I didn't say round, I said even, but like not odd even. It's like, it's it's an even odd number. <laughs> it's an even odd number. And lots of stuff started to uh, study on white cis boys, so many of those, yeah, they, they, they get misdiagnosed because things are different and with society, how it's built to cater towards certain people and some people masking more, yeah. It's very difficult to find, um, uh, to figure it out in, in, um, especially young girls, I think, because yeah, we, we taught to mask more as well growing up. Boys are more allowed to be themselves no matter what. They're not taught to behave a certain way in the same, in the same sense or to the same degree. The good thing is that science is not a col uh, not cultural. Yeah, true. But you know, doctors, they uh, they do be doctoring. No, <laughs> that's how migraines work. You can just push through them. Yeah, yeah. I'm just so happy that I have the job that I do, where if I'm feeling sick, I can just stay home and I can come into work a different day, or I can work from home on a different time during the day when I feel better. And I'm so grateful that I have that job because it's so difficult to, to find a uh, one that can have that amount of flexibility. For Eastern Europeans, well, maybe not everyone, but it's, I've seen a pattern with a lot of um, healthcare professionals who are Eastern European that seem to have this very strict way of, of of seeing how things are supposed to be done when it comes to anything related to work. But hey, Samurai Rams, how you doing? Welcome in. You have beaten Elden Ring, congrats, congrats. Is it, well, yeah, you said last time that it was the first time, right? Hey, Blues, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, the generation will just say stuff like push through because that's what they were taught and don't realize how much stuff sucked for them as well. Yeah, the, it was an option to not suck, yeah. I think a lot of people from that generation tend to be they think that because I had to suffer through it, you have to. So it's like they don't want newer generations to have it better. They're just petty and want everyone else to suffer the way they did. 
also set any settings that can be 20 plus. Also, we're getting an ad, which is fitting because we're just chatting right now. <laughs> Uh, you also set any settings that can be 20 plus to a number ending with 05 and call it around because you don't have a better word for it. <laughs> I am glad that we, we have the this thing in common, a lot of us. The message sent on their own? Wait, what message? Oh! But yeah, welcome in, uh, Blues. I hope, I hope you're doing well. Um... It feels like the further you are from Germany, work ethics just go down. Well, maybe it depends on if you have like how high of a degree you have. Maybe it's more jobs that require higher uh, education. Because I have seen that so much with uh, healthcare professionals. It seems to be pretty common among them, but I, I can't say for sure though if it's... If it's just a coincidence or not, but... <clears throat> but a lot of places do that, especially, yeah. Eastern countries, like Eastern uh, Asian countries also. So, like, that is, that is also what I'm thinking. Like, the farther east you go, the worse it is when it comes to work ethic. It's like, it's, that comes before anything. So I do know that that is how it is. And it is like that in China, Japan, and South Korea and everything. And Russia as well. Um, but that is also partially Europe. Um, they put work over family, especially the men, so that they can take care of their families to the point it can kill them. Yeah. It's true. Uh, I think they do realize it, but they're angry that it's gotten better now and it wasn't for them. Petty, yeah. They know they were treated shitty and they feel like it's not fair that everyone after them isn't given the same treatment, yet they call us crybabies. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is that is how it would be. Yeah, builds character. Exactly. <laughs> Very. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate it's such it's such a boomer thing to say that something builds character. They'll knock the younger generation for not being able to deal with things while they literally couldn't function without drinking and smoking. That is also a very good point. Also a very good point. The way we deal with things now is just uh, dissociating by by uh, <laughs> playing games, <laughs> watching watching shows or movies, and, and um, napping, I guess. Which overall is healthier, I would say. <laughs> That's that's how we cope. Um, all the people saying everybody has mental health issues nowadays. Back in yeah yeah at the same time have poor co uh, coping mechanisms and loss of trauma and yeah they they are just in denial. Everyone has health mental health issues in in because of the society that we live in, but it's not all the same. <laughs> It's not all the same. It's it's there's a lot of variety. Um And so many people more people have trauma. Like it's I remember my stepmom, she was like I mentioned because I I have some a lot of childhood trauma, but she was like she thought that trauma was something that was like serious in in the sense that it was one instant that happens in your life that that just ruins you as a person that it destroys you as a person she was thinking that extreme but no trauma doesn't have to be that it can be a continuous thing that forms through well I don't know. It's 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 very complicated. You can get trauma from a lot of different things. 
and uh, to a lot of different degrees as well. It doesn't have to be like witnessing something traumatic that happened once uh, or experiencing one traumatic incident. Uh, it can be so many different things. But welcome back from the ads. <laughs> Back in my day, I worked one job to buy a house and provide for my whole family. Yeah, yeah. Bread was also a nickel. Houses were a couple of thousand bucks and you drank yourself to death. But sure, inflation and economic crashes are the same as Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. Um, They don't realize all the struggles that we have now that they didn't have to worry about. You're lucky if you manage to get a house by yourself now. Uh... If you're in your 30s or younger than that, or even 40, if you're younger than 40, 45, and have your own house, especially if you're by yourself, that is actually so rare. Um, I think no matter what country you live in, remember men complaining about people being too emotional when there's uh, some degree of angry 90% of the time, like they don't want you angry as an emotion. True. And it's so funny to me how uh, a lot of men seem to think that women, while on their period, are emotional. Do you know what happens when women are on their period? They get an extra dose of testosterone. Did you know that? Kind of funny, isn't it? For capitalism as well, yeah, yeah. A lot of people think trauma has to be like a plane crash or your house burning down or some major event, not understanding that it can come from a repetitive thing. Yeah, it's true. It's true. A lot of different things can cause trauma. And for a lot of people as well, the, the threshold for what can cause trauma in a person also vary a lot. When people don't see the trauma or the mental health issue, some people just refuse to believe it's true and that also is so infuriating. Yeah. Did you say anything about the Easter <laughs> Ads again? There should not be ads again. There should not be ads again. Um... You bought your house at 24, but you also got the deal of a lifetime and bust your ass in a warehouse for years to afford the cheapest home around. Yeah, that is very fortunate. Not a lot of people that I know or have heard of in, in the US as well uh, would not be able to afford a house at that age. Um, not now or when you were 24 i don't i don't know how many years that was ago but i know you mentioned your age but it's like things have changed a lot but they haven't changed that much that it seems like it would be very difficult to do even at that point uh messages not sending and messages sending prematurely and now ads twice you're just gonna go and catch you wait i don't understand why the ads are happening twice though has anyone else had issues with that Also, the view of what is ideal, like pushing to have family and people don't actually want to have kids and people who menstruate the cycle is so different <laughs> affect also productivity and stuff. Still expected to work same way all the time. It's true. It's true. I have... Um, also, it depends on your age as well. Um, apparently, a lot of people can go through... Um, times in their lives where their periods can really affect their mental health more than they had before and and will do afterwards as well to the point that you can get into a deep depression and really have like some really dark thoughts just for having a uterus which is so bad it is so bad um and it's said that as, uh, people can experience that at least once in their life while they they have their periods. Twitch is just like that for you recently. There has been occasionally times messages not get sent. That's so weird though. I'm, I feel bad that that 
loose or having issues and don't want to stick around because of that. That, that kind of sucks. Twitch, get your shit together. Also, houses were much cheaper and people don't get as much money. Like, there are charts that show... Yeah. It does depend on the place as well. But in, in Western countries, I think it's... It's an issue for most countries. Also a lot of Eastern ones as well. And a lot of countries in between, but I don't know. I don't know enough. I don't know about enough about them. Um, to be honest, you never have gotten an ad and you don't have an ad blocker. That is interesting. But you also sub now, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Cost of living is wildly different in different places throughout the U.S. You live in a very cheap area. Hmm. Well, that's good though. And in in at least in that way. And I think it was kind of recent when recently where it was discovered that some pads have been tested with water. Yeah, 2023 was the year when they started testing pads with actual blood instead of water. You see how important uh, women's health is? People don't give a shit. On the same device, one day you get no ads, one day you get the same ad every time, Twitch is just weird. Mm. Yeah, I am so tired of, of women's health being... not being prioritized because there are too man many variables because of the, the hormones uh, compared to with men. But that is the whole point. You have to take that into consideration so that, that the meds will actually work. Or, like, now I'm talking about meds all of a sudden. But it's just, it's just a whole issue. <laughs> like, they test med medicine that is supposed to be for women, specifically, on men. Because the results will be more reliable. But that is that takes the whole point away because they're not supposed to be used by men. Like what? Wh why? Why even bother then? Same thing with body types. Like with the car crash dummies, they started to use only smaller ones, but the body types are so different. Yeah, uh, I'm, it's this is something that really bothers me a lot. <laughs> Uh, I get so I get so mad when I start to think about these things that I, I just I honestly I can't talk about it because it's it, it just gets too too much. Ow! Uh. Yeah, we're we're playing a game for a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not I'm not allowed to to open up. Um, you're so angry right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I should we should not have gone into like I tried to not. Well, I mean, we're not talking about politics. But I feel like we're getting really close to talking about politics, and we usually don't do that here because it's just usually not a good time when people do that. So I'm trying not to do that. Um, but imagine taking people's body chemistry into consideration when making medication. Yeah, that would be wild. That would be insanity. You live in a cheaper area of... Uh, Pennsylvania too, and the prices are outrageous just in the distance of th 20 miles. You're renting a three-story house, three-bedroom house for the same price. It's a studio apartment like 10, 15 minutes away, that down the road. But that is actually insane. You need a bit of a break, you think? Totally understandable. Yeah, I we should not have talked about this, I'm sorry. 
I mean, like, I know it's important, so I, like, I don't regret talking about these things, but I just... When I'm not prepared for it... It's like, I feel like I can't... ...form my opinions or sentences on my opinions properly. I feel it's nice and good to talk about stuff like this, but unfortunately there's so much shady stuff. It can get east. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I usually get very angry when I when I think about these things. Well, my type of being angry at least. Ah. Come down here. There we go. Uh, feels, no, no, no! Don't feel bad because we're not, we're not, we're not uh, talking about it anymore. Um, yeah, go, go get some sleep. You think you're going to get some sleep now? So good night. I'll drink water and stay happy and safe. You too, ghost. And obviously, don't feel bad about it. I hope you sleep well. I hope you sleep well and have a good night. Have a good night. And thank you so much for being here too. That also frustrates you, not being able to say things. Hmm. Is this where you find out Black Cats is in your neighborhood? Because same except you own a mobile home in the woods and you're like 20 miles from a city. <laughs> uh, you go eat something to eat at least? BRB? Okay, okay. This is where you, we game to dissociate and forget about stinky IRL things. Exactly. Exactly. We're just gonna think about st stinky uh, game things instead. What a delectable little pet. <laughs> this one? <laughs> Thank you for the 20 bits, ghost. You're too kind. Yeah, I hope you sleep well. Hope you have a good night. Honestly, I should probably not be alive for too much longer, but I'm, I think we're just gonna do the, the hall slow thing here. And, um, and go to, go to Volcano Manor to say that we've done the last, uh, the last thing. Thank you for the water. Invade Juno Hoslow, Knight of Blood's World. Yeah, this is where we get the the coolest looking helmet in the game. You looking down the street for Craig? <laughs> uh... Look at his helmet. Helmet, it's so cool. Don't teleport. That's not fair. Or heal. I just need my stamina back. I'm rolling right at the wrong time.
I can't get the timing right at all. <laughs> what is this? Ow. What? Oh shit, I forgot that I, I have less heals in, in here. I'm also distracted by Tusta because she has brought something in and I don't know what it is. <laughs> We did it though, we got it. You got microwave pizza? It's not super good, but at least it's something. Hey, it is something. Hostel's pedal whip. I love I love this armor and the helmet. It's so cool. It's so cool. I used the helmet for so long. Have you guys seen the cosplayer who made this whole outfit and made this helmet? What the fuck? Where's that sound coming from? Hold on, let me... I have two of them now. But yeah, the details on this helmet is insane. Twin-tailed silver helm decorated with flowery adornment, symbol of the head of the revered house of Hoslo. Juno Hoslo had a younger brother who was all talk and no trousers. We know who that is. His inability to commit to action was such that Juno inherited the Hoslo legacy without resistance, granting him the freedom to shower his little brother with adoration. Replica of a twin-tailed silver helm with flowery adornments, only without the twin tails. Dialos Hoslo had an older brother who was a stern, self-possessed man of few words. His achievements made him seem out of reach. And so the younger aspired to be like the older, yearning for the day that he would tell the tale of ha House Hoslo in blood, knowing full well that it would break his brother's heart. So should we go and talk to Dialos then? <laughs> no, you're spoiling it, Sir Ryan. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> uh... It's also nice too because you don't personally have places to talk about any of these things besides with June at times, so it's in that way, it's kind of nice as well, occasionally, but yeah, I won't say about stuff anymore now. Yeah, I mean, it is nice to talk about, but it's also not very nice to talk about. <laughs> it's like, it's both. Um, hopefully not a rat. Mm. If you and black cats have crossed paths in real life, I mean, you might have. You might have. <laughs> I don't know if this happens after we've killed his brother, though, or... Or if we need to go in and say that we finished... ...the thing. No, nothing has changed. A fool I made, do you pity me? Well, let's go here now then. Maybe it's after we've killed uh, Rykard. I'm just guessing because I know that I can just ask Orion and Orion will have the answers, but I'm just like I'm just I'm just uh Well, I kind of want to talk to Bernal first. Just in case. Wait, wait, what? Should 
should check Raya first, just in case. Okay, okay. You're still alive, I see. I am. Well. Um. Yeah. Good, good call. We have Raya here too. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just think she's just adorable. At least we know where. Well, yeah, she's here. You know that is Alexander. <laughs> She's here. Zarias the Scout. I don't remember which one was closest. But it's so cute. It's so cute. Damn, has this changed? Was it like that the entire time? I don't remember seeing the the snake here. Did I just not pay attention before? Because I <laughs> literally never noticed the snake here before. <laughs> uh, that's cool though. Even it, like whether it was his has been there the entire time or not, it's it's really cool. I uh, wouldn't bet anything on it, but pretty sure it's the same. Mm. Orion is the note keeper of the stream, knows it all, is omnipresent. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Well, Orion doesn't know all, but Orion knows all that I don't. <laughs> Orion is also like, Orion is the one who knows math, and I don't know shit about math. Um, So, you know. We um we complete each other in in some ways. Ah. Wait, hold on. If you knew, pretty sure you weren't this anxious. <laughs> Don't remember math actually anymore, which makes you sad. Sometimes knowing ev knowing more can make you even more anxious, Orion. Because people who don't know anything, they don't have any reason to be anxious, you know. Bobby brain cells combine all things are remembered. <laughs> yeah, Orion fills in my my in the gaps in my memory. Knowing 99% of all is closer to 100 than zero. That is also very true. So many things give you anxiety because you don't know things. But at least you know that you don't know them. Isn't that a sign of, of uh, wisdom? Knowing that you don't know anything? Or, like, the more you know, the more you know that you don't know anything. Or something like that. I don't know. See? Maybe I'm very wise because I don't know. <laughs> Being blissfully ignorant must be great. Honestly, yeah. All I know is that I know nothing. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, fuck. Ow. Leave me alone. Wait, was this the way? Ah, oh, fuck. I was not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, spit me out in the lava. That's fine. No, fuck. I used the wrong one. Why, Why did I use the wrong one? That is annoying. Oh well. I don't want to risk uh, her getting killed. So I'm just going to wait here until it 
the aggros. Um, if someone comes to make inspection in the apartment and you don't know what to do, or what to say, they say ignorance is bliss. Makes sense that people that don't know what they don't know anything <laughs> have nothing to worry. Uh, mm. and those kinds of things yeah but that that's not really so much about knowledge though is it I don't know I don't know I know that you have done so much for me but I wish to ask one last kindness kill me I thought that I feared nothing, but this, free me from this accursed frame. Uh, because people also assume you should know things, but how we could you have gotten the info? Hmm. Nod your head to whatever they're saying, throwing in an occasional O. Oh, yeah, really? That's crazy. It works like a charm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I know. I know. They're very different situations. I'm just... We're, we're not, it's not that serious. We're just, we're just joking. It's like... It's, it's a partial truth. But it's also a partial joke. But yeah, I think if I end up getting more out of her not taking the potion and also not killing her and just leaving her as she is right now, that seem if that that, that seems to be the better option. No, it's it's all it's all good, Orion. I do, I do know what you mean, though. I actually struggle with that sometimes at work as well. I'm surprised that they don't get upset with this. <laughs> Where it's like I can feel that people are like. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like I'm different in that sense that when it comes to the so social aspect that I'm just not quite as adept as, as they are. We're just joking. They told themselves while having an existential crisis. Yeah. Something that everyone, you mean everyone pretends like they know what they're doing, but none of us really do. Adulting is an act, the ultimate act, if you will, and not in a joking way. Fake it till we make it is legit how most adults get by. Yeah. In a lot of in a lot of situations, that is also how I get by. <laughs> uh It's also a good way to get more confidence. If you just fake that you're confident, then you will get more confidence. It's true. I see that you've stayed the path of champions. This is your usual reward. Please, take it. Taker's cameo. Perhaps you are ready. Might you see our lord? Our lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit, treading the path of champions. If I say don't see the lord, can I choose to do it later? Let's 
like it, it's not like I don't get to go here if I say this. I uh, well, I know that there's a different way there as well, but like I still want to get there by these means. Sometimes there's stuff that will affect things and sometimes it would be nice to know because there has been times when you have asked but then gone and answered some... Like going around not direct and it's like, why can't you just answer the question? I don't know what that means in... in I, I, well, I mean, obviously I know it's Finnish, but I don't, I don't know what the word means. Um... One of the biggest realizations of growing up is realizing how clueless most adults are and how little we actually know. Yeah, and one of the saddest things, in a way, that I realized was when it comes to parents. Like how parents are basically just kids having kids. And that makes me just sad. That's not the point when you... yeah. Okay, fine, we can... we can... see him. I just... Yes. As it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's Chamber. But I do think I know what you mean, though, Orion. I know that... Farewell, then. Everyone is. Everyone's kind of talking about different things that don't really have much to do with each other. And in the wild, <laughs> um, that's why when we're a little. Ad Adults are being fully honest, transparent when they say cherish childhood because you're going to miss having no responsibilities. I think they're just gatekeeping fun, but they're being sincere. I don't know. I kind of like having... Like, I prefer to have things as they are now than be a child without privacy, freedom... And the choice to do whatever I want. I actually prefer to be an adult. Because I can still act like a child. But with responsibilities. And also all the freedom that I... Well, to an extent. To the extent that people can be free. I'm just going to go back here and see. Hmm. And this is what you mean. You don't mean everyone should talk about the same thing, but now you don't know if you just... You saw... Should try to explain more because you're not sure. Honestly, I'm I'm a little bit confused myself <laughs> uh, because I'm also like I'm also playing the game and I'm like uh, my 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 um what's the word I'm looking for um And this is also what I mean. I forget every single word today. Or name. Names and words just... I don't remember anything. But that that is also the thing last time as well. It's dangerous because I actually looked up something that was... Um, a, a symptom. You, sh you should never... You should never Google symptoms. <laughs> but a different symptom that I had. And one of the other symptoms that was of the same... That was the same result also said that a different symptom was having like not remembering a lot or like not memory loss but it's like 
having difficulty remembering things more than usual, and I've been struggling with that, so... Uh, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> um, you really enjoy accented letters in an English-dominated world? Mm. I mean, we have... Uh, it's here, too. <laughs> I uh, think of it as telling kids to cherish the blissfully ignorant face of life too. Like you do kind of miss the days where your biggest concern was beating a, a Zelda dungeon or finishing building a Lego set. Mm. You hated being a child. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't too big of a fan either because. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that is also something that stems from trauma. <laughs> I mean, probably. Um. It means wedding night. Ooh. <laughs> but also the interpersonal socializing aspect of jobs is also the worst part. Mm. Yeah, I'm so glad that I can work in my own office by myself uh, most of the time. But I feel like I feel pressured to socialize when we have nothing in common. And I don't know how, what to talk to them about. And I don't want to, I just feel like I have to, because they think of me as the weirdo in the office, which, I mean, I probably am, but... Then again, so is my boss. He actually locked me into, like, in, in my own office on Wednesday. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's a lock on the inside of the office as well. But it was kind of funny, because he... I think he's been very stressful at work, and... Well, he, he's been very stressed at work, and... He came into- well, someone n needed to borrow a chair that was in my office, like an extra chair. And he came into my office after that, and like, what happened to that chair? And I just said what it, what it was. And then he came in uh, a little while later and asked about the same thing, and I'd completely forgotten about it. And then he, he needed to show me something uh, worker-related, and he forgot his phone on my desk. So I had to give him his phone back. And when he was leaving work, he said, uh, don't forget to lock up, uh, because he left before me. And right after he said that, he closed the door to my office and locked me in. <laughs> in my own office while I was there. I was like, and this all happened in one day. Like, are you, my thought was just, are you okay? Do you need a nap? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lock on the inside of the door as well. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. It was just funny because obviously we lock our offices. And like th the same key works on every office. So it's like he could lock my office without an issue because it's the same lock. Um so it's just something we do. We lock our own office after we're done. But I don't know why he locked my office. He's never done that before. And while I was still there. Um, it means like to close, close to intention at wedding night. You can't really well translate that, but it has so many vocals in a row. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. <laughs> Shitty childhood dispute. Do be a thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I was super happy when I moved out, and I think for the next year, I was I would just stop and just think, wow, I'm actually here by myself, alone, and no one around me, and I have complete privacy, and I was just in, like, in bliss, just thinking about that. That's also one reason why people who are autistic, for example, when get to adulthood, the uh, when not diagnosed, because when you're a child, you don't. Most cases have to think all the things like food and house and stuff. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I guess it also depends on how you grew up. If you had a lot of support and stuff already, even if you didn't have the diagnosis. 
I... I already had to do a lot of this th things uh, already as a child that I had to do as an adult. Many vocals in a row sounds about Finnish. I mean, Orion is Finnish, um, so I mean, it makes it makes sense. <laughs> hey, Toonie! Thank you for the water, Redeem. Yeah, the yeah the door could could open from the inside. Um, when you had surgery back in twenty twenty three, the lead up to was testing for cancer and having to see a cancer surgeon because the issue was too complex for a regular surgeon. But they warn you repeatedly: do not Google your test results. You will terrify yourself and find the worst case scenario because you don't have all the pieces. Mm. So your discharge papers literally said instructed not to Google results because they knew you were anxious. A person would 100% do it on the topic of don't Google your symptoms. Yeah, I think it's just because um, I, I'm not a hypochondriac or anything. Um, but when things kind of stack up, I feel like I need to, so I know when to go and see the doctor, but I also, like, don't want to see my doctor because we had talked about this earlier because my doctor is, uh, well, not someone that I want to talk to. <laughs> so, like, hopefully it's not something urgent uh, because I hopefully I will get a new doctor by the time that I... Before it's too late. Before it's too late for me. Uh, once you read the text in one medication while well, you know it's not probable to happen it gives you too much anxiety about that and you thought to not again yeah yeah don't do it unless you actually have some unusual symptoms or anything that isn't common for you after starting the medication do not read it otherwise uh, unless you already have anything weird going on Ended up not listening, and what do you know? I found really bad results and panic for days until your next appointment. You were like, maybe you should have listened. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> you already can't do well about listening or hearing about body stuff. Certain things make you feel unwell. Mm. Yeah, I'm also not very good at that. Which is why I need a, a redeem to remind me to drink water, because I'm never thirsty. My body doesn't give me any signals when... I need to eat or drink until it's like until it's too late or like I get hungry when it's like I need food now like immediately it's not like a build-up for me like hmm I'm starting to get hungry maybe I should think about making some food like that doesn't work for me I start to feel it when I need it now, which is why I need to have a lot of food that doesn't require a lot of preparation, because then I just, I, I, I don't want to make food, so I just end up not eating, and I'm just going hungry, because, yeah. Won't you consider having an audience with our lord? Our Lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit, treading the path of champions. Oh, so we can still... I see. Well, I cannot make you take the leap. But do know this. To follow the path of valor, an audience with our Lord is essential. In order to defy this debasement and rise up against the Erd Tree. Like a true recusant of the Volcano Manor. Hmm. Yeah, I... Next time... No, should we... She won't have anything new now until we've beaten Rykard, right? So there's no point in going back here until uh, we've fought Rykard, right? Uh, sometimes you know logically you should eat, but you're not hungry right at the moment, and then you do eat full meal, and it was a good choice to <laughs> eat that time, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
Exactly. Until last minute, that's how you're too, especially with peeing. You don't read that. Same, same. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to go into details or anything. But I have the exact same issue, and I've had that issue my entire life, where people thought it was funny because I had to have like a weird walk to like hold it in because I couldn't feel that I needed to pee until I needed to go right now. <laughs> So I had to have like this weird walk where I just, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, totally feel you there. Always been an issue for me. Um, but sometimes you still don't eat. Same with hunger pangs. Yeah. That should be the case now. Do you talk with patches? Yeah, that should be the case now that I just need to... I, nothing can be done until I talk with a... No, I, until I fight Rykard. Is that what you mean? Or did I mis misinterpret that? Hello again. Welcome to Patches Emporium. You talk with Rykard for Riot, yeah. Try to find it in you. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Um, just some nice family time. <laughs> At first I thought it said some nice female time. Oh, are you... What? <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think this is a best, a, a good place to stop though, because, you know, I have also not focused on the game at all for like half of the stream, I think. I think we've just been been talking most of the time, and uh... <laughs> you don't uh, notice. You have to go until you're bursting. Rob will hear you run down the hall, and he used to ask what's wrong, but now he knows <laughs> it's you got a pee run. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish it wasn't like that. Like, why? Why? Can't we just have normal bodies that will tell you, like, give you signals for normal bodily functions? It shouldn't be that hard. But you have to go. Bye, everyone. See you another time. Thank you for being here, Marty. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day and the weekend as well, because this is, will be my last stream uh, this weekend. Uh, or week, I guess, because weekend is the end of the weekend. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Hold on, let me put on some music. Um, mm, why is it always this song that comes on? Like, it's like the timing is always the same. <laughs> like, this is always the next one on the list. Wait, what are you- what- what is- what? <laughs> Oh, it was the fam- uh, the- the female time you- you were reacting to. I see, I see. Uh, <laughs> you're just picturing him picking his head up for a second and being like, Oh, that's just Black Cat's doing her PE zoomies. Yeah. You read it's an ADHD thing and it tracks- Honestly, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was an ADHD or autism thing, but I have heard- maybe it's both. Uh, or either. Um, well, both, I guess. Um, I have heard that too. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, can I same with like food stuff? Already have sensory issues outside, no need to have them inside the body as well. Yeah, <sighs> but it's it's useful though. I'm constantly dehydrated because I don't feel thirst. The only time I drink, like, I drink because I know that I have to. Like, I have to force myself to drink. But it's so easy for me to forget because I don't feel the need to drink. And if I drink when I don't have to force myself, it's just because I like it. It's like if I'm drinking something that I enjoy. But it's not because I'm thirsty. And it's really annoying. 
It is really annoying. At some point he stopped asking, but he ran by the office so you could see him look up. <laughs> hey, almost Ryan. Almost. That was close. But you did it earlier though. I think it can be from both, but for different reasons. I mean like having sensitive stomach or something like that. Oh, oh I see, I see. Hmm. Yeah, that is really, really stupid. Bodies, why are you like this? Why do you be like this? You too? Because you think that was more common to have uh, issues like that? I forgot the word for it. Wait, what word? I'm also kidding. I think it's just because I have been live for a while. <laughs> And now I'm just, I'm just, I'm just getting confused. I'm just getting confused. But we've had two wheel spins though, guys. We have had two wheel spins today. And we have also reached the sub goal, which means that we will be doing the Ronnie cosplay next, probably next Elden Ring stream. I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know if it's going to be the next Elden Ring stream though, which will be... I would say Wednesday, but I don't want to do that on a Wednesday because I'm working on Wednesdays. So I need more preparations in between. Um, so there will be no time to do that on a Wednesday. So I'm guessing Wednesday will probably be for in stars and time anyway. So then we will be playing Elden Ring on Friday and Saturday. And hopefully nothing will go wrong. Unless something unforeseen happens, it will probably be on Friday. If not, it will be on Saturday. But you guys, I will I will let you guys know. I will let you guys know. So just know it will happen this next next weekend. Because it's <laughs> it requires some some preparation because I need to I need to put on blue makeup and everything, and that is a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna say right now, it is. It is not. <laughs> it is a pain in the ass. Um. So I can't. I can't rush it. I can't rush it. Um. Don't. We only recently started getting thirsty because the medication makes you super thirsty, and the psychiatrist told you really, really needed to stay hydrated because the ADHD, ADHD meds dehydrate you. <sighs> that would be a pain for me then. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. Some meds that I also have, my my uh, migraine pills, they make me pee a lot. So they actually tell me when I need to pee. Well, I mean, it's also like I have to pee a lot more. <laughs> so I guess we all have have medications that will help us um, give our body the signals that it needs. As a, as a as a side effect, at least. <laughs> you know what they say? That, that is a problem for future me. I mean, that is not entirely wrong, though, with the cosplay. It is a problem for future me. The, the amount of times where I'm thinking... That, you know, that will be a problem for future me. <laughs> and then... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Time and space stars, yeah. We did, we did, uh... Speaking of hunger pangs, I just got one really bad one. I didn't even know I was hungry. But now, like, damn. You need food now, apparently. I felt that now, in this instance. Not a second before. I was actually thinking about it when we talked about it. Like, do I feel hungry now? Nope. Nope. But now I do. Return of blue vap. Yes, it will be the the the, the return of a blue blue me. <laughs> Liza P. Yeah, it is the lies. It is actually literally Liza P. <laughs> it 
It is literally that. that. Um, this is the first time I'm like, yo, I'm thirsty on its own, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel good. I should probably drink water. Yeah, it's... It shouldn't be like that. You got stomach issues from the current ADHD medication that... Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, that too? And you had a long break, like now, when you started again, erase the amount. Oh, that is annoying. That happens to you at the end of streaming. You'll be like, oh shit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Al Macaroni, how you doing? Hope you're having a good, good Friday. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Like, with us advised. Mm. So, when is the Ronnie? Uh, probably Friday or Saturday next week. One of those two days. But I will let you guys know in the Discord, and I would always post on my social medias whenever I go live. Post on, on Twitter, Instagram, and in the, the, the TikTok. All of the places. That's why I have my starting soon screen, because that's when I post when I go live. <laughs> um... Quote when Ronnie, is he secretly Batman? Is is Ronnie secretly Batman? Who knows? It could be. You never know. Everyone asks when is Ronnie, but no one asks how's Ronnie. <laughs> How are the bean boozled? Uh, bo bo it, they were pretty pretty okay today. I actually got a good one today. I got a good one today. <laughs> That's why you haven't take it, it, taken it in, because, while well, you don't want to deal with the stomach issues, but you should take it so there is stuff related to it and stuff. Hmm. I don't think it has helped super tons, but you're not sure because you don't really do... You don't really... Go, in, go, in, go anywhere? Yeah, I'm, I'm slow now. Um... Have you ever seen Ronnie and Batman in the same place? That's that's a good point. That is a very good point. Yeah, so it's hard to measure if it's helping a lot. Yeah, I, I that, that is understandable. That's also how a lot of things are like that for us homebodies who are also introverts and stuff. It's like we don't necessarily know what is an issue until the issue occurs. <laughs> Because, you know, it, uh, it's also like that with migraines for me as well. It's like, I can have long periods where I don't have any issues with it. But as soon as I start living as a social, normal human being, like, oh yeah, it is an issue after all. Never mind. Ah, da, 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 da. That's not what I meant. I ended up clicking on my own stream. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find someone to raid, though. Um. There are more people on than I than I thought right now. Yeah. Um. Obviously, Sarah. He's sleeping. Uh, so there will be no one there. Like, he's alive, but he's sleeping. Um, should we just do that? I don't know. Do you guys want that? Uh, he's, he's playing VODs. And right now he's showing a VOD when he was, um, doing his Elden Ring. No, not Elden Ring. Um, Dark Souls 2 stream. One of them, at least, with, um... With Chris and Rods. Wait, no! I know who we can raid! I didn't even see that. We can raid Nikki, because she's doing a 12-hour early birthday stream. And she's doing a charity stream as well. She's playing Val Valorant. She's almost- she has been streaming for 11 hours and 18 minutes, though, so she has about 40-ish minutes left. Um... Yes, yeah, so let's do that. She also gave me a shout-out as soon as I went live. I don't know why, but it, it popped up that she gave me a shout-out, uh, and I... 
don't know why she did that. <laughs> so I'm nosy now. Um, but yeah, she is is doing that. So let's go say hi to her. Um, Nikki is good people. We're both part of CKT as well. Um, so let's let's go go give her a little sneaky little raid. And yeah, if you also play Valorant, um, apparently you can ask her to join if you want to. Um, so. That is an option. Uh, hold on. I just I'm trying to to copy the raid message, but it's it won't let me because the stupid pin uh thing shows up instead. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I've had a good like a really good stream. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. I know it's been more chatting today than gameplay. <laughs> And a lot of quests um, stuff instead of bosses. Um, but it's been fun though. I have enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed it as well. And I won't be streaming tomorrow, as I've said, because I'm going to be in Seraphine stream. Uh, he's also doing a, a five year celebration uh, of his stream. So he's doing a lot of co op stuff. So that's where I will be. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your weekend if I don't see you in his stream. And uh, take care of yourself. Drink water. Do it, do it. <laughs>